Yo, yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another installment of the Need to Know 101 series with your boy A. You see, we really like doing these because we really get the chance to talk to people we've been trying to talk to for a minute. And um, either it could be me, Savon, Reggie, Devon, whoever. But today, 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 I know I kind of stay with the music. I try to, I try to see what's in, but I ain't going front. This one today kind of hits close to home. This is more like a family tie type of thing. I've been knowing, I've been knowing one of these brothers for a very long time. The other one I'm getting more acclimated with. But um, today I am seated with Chow Lee and Lonnie Love, Sad. aka Love Lee. They are a group when Sad. they are put together. Um, I guess the reason why this hits so close to home for me is because we some Long Island residents. Okay, so, uh, you know what I'm saying? So, fellas, what's going on? How we doing? Shut up, man. How y'all doing? I, did I wake y'all up too? I know y'all look like rock stars. <laughs> yeah, nah, it was early this morning. I ain't gonna lie. I woke up this morning. It's like, already, Casa yeah. already in the cup. <laughs> Casa already in the cup. Casa already in the cup. Up. Shit going on. I know. Nah, shit I, definitely going on. <laughs> Listen, I respect y'all for even coming up here. I know y'all live like rock stars. I know it was early when we were recording. So I just wanted to, shit. you know, to wake up early shout y'all anyway. for that. <laughs> <laughs> so real quick though, Lonnie, I'm gonna get to you real fast because Hell see yeah. me and Chow, yeah. Yo, gang, we've been going back a long time. I'm okay. When I say a long time, like we and we and we go to the same middle school. Hell yeah, RCA. Hell yeah. You went so, to RCA. Went to RCA, gang. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talk. Tell me about uh, like middle school child as opposed to. Nah. <laughs> I ain't gonna fry. Still was the goat, but you know what I mean, I had the glasses on. Yeah. My friend, niggas, I'm a calm nigga, but. In middle school, though, did you like see yourself just making music consistently? Hell no. I don't even know what I was going to do in middle school. I thought I was going to play football or some shit. <laughs> Yo, Lonnie, what you was doing in middle school? You felt like you was going to take it with music? I got, I used to dance yeah. rap in middle school, gangsta. Oh, word. Oh, yeah. That's something Maverick. Oh, so I was <laughs> Maverick. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, that was my rap name, Maverick. I, I ain't go front. <laughs> when I was in middle school, I was like the, I used to skateboard and shit. I was the nigga with the, the capris and shit with the I love hater socks. Gangsta. Oh, yeah, I remember that shit. Yeah, <laughs> nah, nah, fly shit. I ain't gonna lie, niggas to cut my ass, but <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. But you know what, though? It's funny you say that. I think that's the reason why I really fuck with the two of y'all. Because y'all strike me as young brothers I don't really care. And let me explain, right? Y'all gonna do what y'all wanna do. For sure. Regardless of who's saying what or who's doing what. Where does that energy come from? I ain't gonna front. I got it from him. <laughs> <laughs> no. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I really yeah. just don't give a fuck. I ain't gonna lie. It's just because people will tell you a whole bunch of shit that it's like, how you gonna tell me what I could do or anything like that? I really feel like all rules is made up. So if you following rules, you just like, I'm not following white people rules. No respect to no white people. Like, nah, this but is... I'm not following rules that's made up. They tell me I was supposed to wear my Rolex on the left. Yeah. Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> my shit on my right hand. Nah, you know what's crazy? On You know, on our regular episodes on the podcast, I constantly have that argument where I'm just like, I know you should take constructive criticism, right? Yeah. Gangster. Because yeah. you should. Because you're not sure. a know-it-all and you should never be the smartest person in the room. For sure. But yeah. after a while, it's like, should you ever listen to people where you feel like they don't understand where you're actually coming from? So I want to know how y'all kind of deal with constructive criticism and, like, fan critique. Nah, I ain't going to lie. Like, constructive criticism, like, I really listen to you. Me too. Like, I, I'm not going to, like, if I don't feel what you're saying, I'd be like, I respect what you're saying, but... Yeah. Like, I feel I'm like gonna you gotta be somebody do. like credible, yeah, or somebody yeah, like, that I respect. Like I ain't gonna lie, if you, if you not nobody, I'm about to be like, bro, shut up, like, <laughs> <laughs> shut up. <laughs> don't talk to me. Yeah, but really other than though. that, like, I, I, I like when people like, feel me? Cause Cause I, I like, when I want to know what, like, how you looking at it, like, feel mm -hmm. me from both sides. Maybe I could come up with some other different shit, right? I don't yeah, know. That's for sure. And then so, fan critique is like, shit, it be fire every time. So, <laughs> <laughs> but see, how does that make you feel? Because I, I was um. That's a blessing. It's a bl yeah, I was seeing him. Yeah. I was seeing, I think Meek Meek was on a uh, million dollars worth of game. Mm -hmm. He was talking about his dog Chino. You know, Chino that do the bikes yeah, with him. Mm -hmm. He was telling him how Chino originally wasn't making music. And then as he started to make music, Meek wasn't really feeling it because he felt like he could have done a little bit better. Mm -hmm. But then he seen all the fire emojis in the comments. So Meek was feeling like, you know, that's kind of like blurring him. Do y'all feel that way? Do you feel like people actually could critique you or do you feel like they genuinely think everything nah, is... Nah, that yeah. shit is fire. Nah, <laughs> if, like the fan, if they on Instagram saying yeah. your shit fire and you don't know them, your shit's probably fire. Yeah. Because the, I ain't gonna front you. know niggas on Instagram not about the whole day talking that shit dirt. They not about Especially to say your shit Chino, fire and it's dirt. Because you Chino. know, you got... It's like you meet mailmans, you know niggas be trolling shit. Niggas are really going with your shit and be like, and troll shit you sucks. bad, gangsta. Feel me? But like, nah, we're, but shit actually be fine. I never heard none of Chino shit, so I can't really speak on this shit. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, even though it's an example, but <laughs> like, 
Nah, we really fire. I ain't going to th- <laughs> <laughs> Niggas don't miss. Nah, that I, shit definitely is fire, though. I, I kind of want to speak to y'all sound. It's very interesting. You know, in New York nowadays, it's been a while. I want to know if y'all agree. Do, y- do y'all feel like New York has had a sound in, in recent years? I think so. Had this sound? I'm going to get to that. I just want to know if y'all think New York has had a sound. Like, I mean, if, it depends. If, oh, yeah, yeah. facts. What, what does it mean, mean recent yeah. years? Because like, yeah. if you think about, like, Drill came out, like, four or five years ago. That mm-hmm. fake been our sound for, like, half the decade now, yeah. like, gangster. But the drill shit. But I then, feel like even before Drill, A Boogie Fake made a new sound. Like, when A Boogie came yeah. out, that was the sound A-Boogie, of our city. Lil TJ and yeah. all them, the Melodies and the yeah. Drill. It's like, it was like New York pain music. New York. Yeah, Ooh, facts. I like that. So, describe me what hyper pop is. I'm, oh. I'm, I'm new to it. I, I want to so let me give you the definition real quick because you know I like being defined and shit, right? I had mm-hmm. to Google that shit. One of my homies just came back from LA. He was like, "Yeah, I was kicking in with this hyper uh, pop group," and I was like, "The hell is that?" <laughs> yeah. So I had to Google it. it says hyper pop is the element in which glitchy vocals, the trance, and te- techno sense are used, but at its core, it's definitely rap. Yeah. Yeah. What's your version of that? See, we did the hyper pop. We did hyper pop beats on the. Uh, I was about to call it the Barbie tape. Right. I don't know why we be calling it that. It's called Beauty Marks. Beauty Marks. But yeah, we be calling yeah. it the Barbie tape because I don't know. We was in the crib. Chapel well, I was. That shit. I was in the crib and yeah. I like. I I used. I was been rapping on them shits like. But I only do like one song. Like if like you could see on like 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 Let's Glow. Mm-hmm. That was like my third project or whatever. I did a hyper pop beat on there. I did a hyper pop beat on the um, Sexy Boy. I be calling them shits Barbie beats. Like them shit sound like some Barbie. It sound shit. like some yeah. Barbie. Yeah. yeah, like I can't really explain them it. Fire, the tempo though. is it's fast. Just super upbeat. Yeah. Like it's mm-hmm. fun. It's like some. It's, it's like, math on the rap on. Yeah, though, for it is. Sure. It's like really like a blend like on some like rock shit. Really yeah. like with a like a rap beat, like a techno beat or some shit. But it's like a techno beat with like Drill- hip hop drums. Uh-huh. Yeah, and you're supposed Kicks, to rap on it. and shit. Yeah, like, I don't know. It's fire. Uzi vibes and shit. Right. See on Lovely, and we're, this is where I want really want to get to it. Mm-hmm. Lovely is probably one of my favorite projects of the year. Mine's I too. appreciate that Mine's shit, too. and that's and that's real Thank shit. You. I'm not just saying that because I know y'all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I really like, appreciate that shit. Because yeah. you know what I try to do. I'm technically I'm a millennial, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm getting old and shit. I don't even use TikTok. <laughs> but like, <laughs> I don't know how to work it either. Oh yeah, yeah I, we was just talking about oh, the TikTok. Oh yeah, too. Shit. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know. Yeah, how I don't how to know do how to work that. I'm trying to get in there though because that's 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 big on music right now. I was about to say as an artist, y'all don't feel like y'all should. Oh yeah, I'm about to do. We about I'm about to get hands on on it too. But I'm just trying to figure it out. I was just trying to find influences. But what is it about TikTok that makes us feel like? It's is, is it feel like, is it feel like too kiddish to us? People I really like feel us? like I'm I old really now. just not. I feel like, like I'm not about to be on there making videos like that, like dancing. <laughs> I'm not like. dancing first of all. But it's mad other shit on there, so I'm just. It's being good. Stupid. It's good content on TikTok though. But what I most of the time I see, but yeah, I ain't gonna lie for you to set your challenge. Though, I'm not about this. I'm not about to get on. My I don't even know how niggas <laughs> make them them them, them challenges. I don't, I don't know how, how to do, do nothing on there. They be I don't know how they do the I want to get into them, but I gotta get into them because it's going crazy. It's going crazy with this music shit. It's really popping niggas music off like. Wow, it really is like though. like just like like be love right you now. See, I was about to say, be love got the hottest song in the world right be now. Be love out of the Bronx, right? Hell yeah, yeah. my son I, Cash produced that. That my yeah. everything shit. That's the hottest shit out right now. Let's get to Cash. Let's get to Lovely, right? On love on Lovely, I heard a lot of a lot a lot of samples because y'all are really good with that. Mm. Why do y'all use samples? Well, we you we ain't use we use samples, mm-hmm. but um, damn, we did use samples. <laughs> okay, because I was about to say, I feel like yeah. we did more samples on the, when we, uh, deluxe. Ex- on the deluxe, deluxe, right, yeah. But, you know I mean? Samples fire. Yeah. Really because of Cash, I'm going to come clean, like. Mm. It's really it. the sound of the city right now. That's yeah. what the people wanted to hear. Like, I think, like, the shit that was samples was Cash Beats. Yeah. And then other shits we Majority. just got on YouTube. Yeah. That's funny as hell. The ones that we sampled are <laughs> yeah. the biggest songs. Because, you know, the other song, like, the, the first half of Lovely, before the deluxe, is more like R&B for real. Yeah. Or, like, half a little bit of pop. But when we dropped the deluxe, all those ones like that sampled, mm-hmm. those are the biggest songs on the project. Mm-hmm. So that's obviously what the city want to hear. Yeah, nobody. Yeah, nobody. Do you do you guys play the long game? Because I've had convers- other conversations with other artists when it yeah. comes to sampling, and they long get real game? scary about it. Long game. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Like what? If, like they going to take it down. Type yeah. shit, right? Because when I'm having these conversations with dudes, they be like, "Yo, you know, you can't make no money off the samples." Hell no. What do you, you wanna, say to them? Hell yeah. no. You want to know why? Because if that shit hot, nigga, they going to clear that shit. Like mm. keep sweat here. Nobody he might remix his own song. Mm. They gonna clear it. Like yeah. and if they don't clear it, then fuck it. Like you still got the. If publicity. you don't clear, if you don't clear some, you young still got the clout. Like you feel me? Like fuck it, make another song. I make yeah. another song. But it's not even about the money. Yeah, honestly, it sounds cliche, it. but it's not about the money. Yeah, I don't know. That shit is fire, nigga. Do y'all, fuck it. Do y'all feel like New York is um 
finally starting to come together because you know how it's been over the years. Oh, Atlanta is the only fake, big deal. Fake. I feel like right it's a little, little community fake. right now. Right? Am I bugging? It's a little. You're not bugging. Right it's still a yeah. little division. I be feeling yeah. like it's still a lot of egos. But I, ain't gonna but shit I feel like we're doing on. better than ever before. Shit is going on right now. Oh, at yeah. least from my eyes, I ain't gonna front. So, I come. We came like, bro. We've been in the stew with mad niggas. Like we never even seen before, like bro, you know us. We from Long Island, shit. So we don't really play the city like that. And we start playing the city now. We be doing shit now. How you know I was about to bring that up? I don't know. I ain't know. <laughs> you, yo, if you read in my notes, just say that. <laughs> nah, nah, niggas is doing collabs and shit. Like, it's a lot nah, of shit going, lot going on. on. Like, Cause I feel like so. the reason why I go so hard, you know, I make beats now too. I got to send y'all a pack. What? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah, yeah, you got yeah. to I'm, okay. I'm getting busy. But I feel like the I reason like why that. I go, so, nah, I got you. I like. Man, that. I know y'all sound now. I feel like the reason why I go so hard with. My career now, in terms of the podcasting, making music, or whatever else I'm involved in, oh, it's yeah. because I have such a chip on my shoulder being from Long Island. Yo, yeah. I feel that. I ain't gonna lie, you yo. You feel the same way, yo? Yo, I nah, had some I girl just try me the other day about being from Long Island, bro. I don't only because it's. Let me hear Lonnie real quick. I'm gonna get it. I gotta hear this. <laughs> nah. You the front on you? Yo, bro, I was at Albany <laughs> yeah. Homecoming, yo. I was with the, I was with two of my, my sons and shit, bro. We yeah. just having a good time with these girls. And I told her I'm from Long Island. Yeah. She said, Oh, they from Long Island? They took the L I double line over here. <laughs> and then A my started laughing. That I said, was, yo, that shit was fake of banging. I said, yo, what's funny though? <laughs> what's funny you about that? You took the train shit? here, like. Yo, I was like, what's funny about that? Cause I definitely Drove over here yeah. in a nice rent to you. I ain't coming. Yeah. <laughs> no kids. But like, right, yo, right. no kizzy. I ain't like that joke. Nah, I feel you. And child, you say you don't have a chip on your shoulder because nah, of Nah, I'm really the goat though. Right. Once it's like, once it's like, you tell me from Long Island. I ain't gonna find. I never really got no backlash for real. Like no, no crazy like backlash. Like oh, that nigga from Long Island. Cause it's just like I ain't gonna find. I'm really the goat. So it's just like niggas be like, oh, I right, yeah, you just from Long Island for me. Like, right. So it sounds like confidence trumps everything. Yeah, yeah. I mean like yeah, I'd be like yeah, I'm from yeah. Long Island. Like, you know what it is for me, chow? I have mad confidence, bro. You've been knowing me a long time. Yeah, for Shout sure. out to Mari, bro. We've been yeah. we've been seeing each Shout other for Mari. years. Shout out to Mari. Mari nah, is Mari, um, Mari's the goat. Mari's Shout the goat. That nigga really the wizard. <laughs> That's the wizard. <laughs> I used to work. If y'all don't know who Mari is, let me explain. Mari is in their collective. He is filming band aids. He is the photographer. I also used to work with Mari mm. at mm. Adidas, which is crazy. Which is crazy. crazy. Like we was really brothers and worked there for years. Anyway, I say all of that to say. All of us are from Long Island. Mm, and yeah. I feel like, Chad, the reason why I be going so hard is because, all right, it's like this, right? See, I'm from Roosevelt, mm. very small neighborhood, right? If you don't see someone that can do it, where you from? You won't even yeah. believe it's possible. You won't, thank you. Yeah. So like, I want right. to just name a few names. They won't tell the kids that Busta Rhymes mm -hmm. is walking around Roosevelt. Yeah. They won't tell you Facts. MF Doom. They yeah. won't tell you Public Enemy. Yeah. They won't tell you Lil Peep. And I wanted to get to Lil Peep now. Thanks. Lil, Lil Peep's Peep. music. I, I, unfortunately, he died a, a few years ago. Mm -hmm. R.I.P. Power, power to the uh, rest in power. I got my son tatted. Do you really? Yeah, yeah I got the crowd shit on my neck. So explain to me who Lil Peep is to y'all. Yo, boy, that nigga was the GOAT. I'm not even going to lie. Lil Peep was the only rapper when he died. I literally sat up my and dad cried. cried bro. I got him tatted the same day he died. <laughs> wow, so I, I cried. Wow. I ain't gonna lie. I remember, bro, I remember he, he put in the chat. He said, What the fuck? This nigga Lil Peep is dead. Yeah. I, I ain't gonna sick, front. Bro. I, like, you know, I went on his die, page. Niggas would be sick and be like, damn, like. Nah, I listened to his music. I died I was bald, like sick, a child. And I was a grown man. I was like 18. I don't know. That nigga just, he just, he was making that pain. I just bro. feel like <laughs> yeah. Lil Peep was really the one who did not give a fuck. Like, like he, he made me feel like I should not give a fuck for real. Like, he was making that pain. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, so you mean like he would just go on tracks and just tell everything, say even, how he felt, even, what you like, mean? Yeah. Even his tracks, but his yeah. image, like, bro, you seen his tattoos. He didn't care what nobody thought. Like, he just was doing him. He from Long Island. Right, like, right. He was just the one. I really feel like he was the one. So, sad rap. Mm -hmm. it, was that his genre, his style? Like, what, what I want to know is exactly what his genre was. Well, he, he was wasn't really, a rapper. I ain't gonna find oh, He was, like, yeah. really on some rock star shit. He was, was rapping, but he fake star. He fake actually started that um, that rapping on guitar shits, put the 808s on the guitars mm -hmm. and shit mm -hmm. like that. Like, well, people was the GOAT. He, he was first, the first. I'm one. Jack. He was the first nigga to do that shit. You know, see, it's interesting for me because hip hop now has so many subgenres of rap. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? I so think it's fun. stupid for real. Explain why. I feel like they just try and marginalize music too much. Like, just enjoy it as for what it is. Like, why do people consider Post Malone a rapper? Mm. People be talking about Post Malone. Like, Post Malone's not a rapper. Yeah, no, he's an artist. He's an artist. <laughs> yeah. Like, they just try and marginalize <laughs> music too much. I really don't be liking that. Like they'll ask you like, oh, it's drill, but this soul drill, but then this Bronx drill, but this Yo, Brooklyn yeah, drill, it's a Bronx but, drill, Brooklyn like it's, drill, it's just soul music. Drill. Like, it's why drill. are we doing all that? Whatever for? the fuck you want to call it. I can understand like it's easy to categorize shit and yeah. explain it to people, but it's like I don't know when you try to put somebody in a box, it makes it weird. Yeah
and I and I don't want to do that either with what I'm about to say, right? Because I, I do want your opinion on it. Mm -hmm. I just brought up sad rap. Is that like a a genre for certain? Yeah, like Juice World and shit. Like emo Juice World, yeah. emo rap. How, how, what do y'all what do y'all sit on that? Because I'll kind of tell you where I feel on it, right? I'm 25. Mm -hmm. I listen to everything. When I say I listen to everything, I could go I listen from, to everything. I, bro, when I say yeah. I listen to everything, I can he listen to, to it. everything. I know, and that's why I fuck with y'all. We're going to get to that. I could go to Anita Baker mm -hmm. to, to y'all real quick. I'm very curious about sad rap, right? Because at 25, mm -hmm. I don't know. I just feel like there's music for everything, right? Yeah. But do you feel like that type of music, like what is doing a Gen Z? Is it Does it help things because they can hear music? that they could relate to or does it feel like it's just super depressing you want me to be honest please i'm very curious about this shit. i feel like it could go either way because it's a lot of people that's depressed and are listen to music like that and it'll help them through but it's a lot of people that like are listening to music about somebody talking about doing drugs or being yeah. sad and want to do that because that's what they feel rappers talking about mm. so it's kind of like a double-edged sword for mm. real but I think it's a positive more than anything. I don't never think music is negative more than positive, no matter what it represents. Art. It's art. And it's a way out, especially for, you know, black people and stuff. Like, it's our way out. Right. For a lot of us. Right. Yeah. So. I want to know, see, I like the way you guys release music. Let me explain. I tell dudes all the time now, like artists and shit, be like, yo, you know, how do you think I should release music? I'm like, how frequently do you release music? A lot of the dudes tell me, oh, I might put out a project maybe once a year. Maybe I might do a single every other month. So you guys flood. Yeah. When I say y'all flood, I do these new music lists every Friday. Yeah, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. I, I appreciate you for that shit Come too. On, family Gangsta. ties. Come on, because we, we on that do shit damn near every time. Every, look, and and that's <laughs> my point. I do yeah. these new music lists every Friday. Yeah. And here I am typing Thursday night every Thursday night. Ciao, Lonnie. Yeah. Cash, ciao, Lonnie. Swoosh, yeah. cat. Anyway, I say all of this to say, what are the pros and cons with releasing like that? I don't think there is no con. I think it's his own. Oh, nah. It's, it's cons, just, but it's cons for us. It's not for them. The only cons is yeah. sometimes <laughs> the shits that we really like will get overlooked. That's a fact. You know what I mean? Mm. That's a big I fact. Mean, it might not be overlooked. Mm -hmm. Like People is going to listen, but mm -hmm. it might be overlooked. Like, damn, I wanted that one to go up mm -hmm. other than this one. But, mm -hmm. bro, fact. it's just like ain't nobody. like. I mean, like we fake got a little fan base now, so niggas yeah. is checking for us and shit like that. But. Right. A lot of people not checking for us, you feel me? So it's like, bro, we we about to up it, like, right. and we make too much shit. Like, bro, we was just in here like two, two, three nights ago. Yeah, we made we made a song. We be making songs and shit on live and shit. We made some shit on <laughs> live and already. dropped it the next girls day. Girls like Molly, it's called girls like, like Molly. Yeah, yeah. stream it. That's and it's gonna be on my list this week. We yeah. made that song two days ago in here, in here Downstairs. on live. What 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 do you think the strategy is for the rest of them not releasing music in this time? What like do you think that makes sense? Nah, I mean. I feel like people yeah. just be trying to push this shit. Like they just be trying to focus on one thing and shit like that. Cause you could drop one time like some a good ass project or some shit and just push that shit, just go crazy. I can't hold my music, bro. I, yeah. Me personally, I gotta drop this shit. Like it's like yeah. you feel me, niggas make too much music. Certain niggas just like fuck it. Like they just, I feel like you're not hurting yourself. You not you're hurting yourself by not dropping what you're listening to. I feel part. like it just be hard for people to consistently make good music. Mm. So when mm. you got something good, you mm. don't want to leave it because it's like you're gonna have to go back to a drawing board, fake, have to cook up something whole new from scratch, and it gotta be fire the way that yeah. the shit you was just pushing is. That's hard for a lot of people, but we be making bare flocks. <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's really impressive. That's why we be fucking just dropping, bro. Because it's just like it's bro, so this many songs, song's so bro. Hard, bro. It's so many songs. To, it's so many songs that's not out still. Like it's yeah. so many songs. That's bro. why we did the deluxe, the deluxe on the lovely shit. Right. We made that deluxe in a good week. <laughs> no cap And on the deluxe And on the original I wanna know If you guys know That you guys have a cheat code <laughs> What's, you, the, cheat, what's yeah. the cheat code What's the cheat code Yeah Women <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna fuck You know fucking bitches You bug <laughs> <laughs> Yo chat <laughs> Nah, 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 really though, listen. Cause I go for that. No. Give you a lot of substance and shit to talk about in your songs. Nah, but you know what though? You just said it. Yeah, I did. feel like that's the reason why maybe a lot of drill rappers run into writer's block. Cause how many times you gonna spin a block, right? How many ops you yeah. got, bro? I ain't gonna lie. I mean, uh, how bad you I really mean, hate you be them surprised niggas. though. These niggas be coming up with new link. I'll be impressed. The way the way you know the way they remix Spliff put yeah. you in a blunt. That's fire to me. They These niggas really always got new lingo. Like, he said you said the option get put in the Marley. Yeah. <laughs> like, they got mad different versions of put, saying put you in a spliff now. That's uh, fire to me. Yeah. But I really do feel like y'all have a cheat code. Like, how has women uh, affected your music? 
Oh, uh, that's all what? I rap about. I don't rap about nothing else. Women, probably when I get in my bag and I, you know, I was beefing with one of my <laughs> homies or some shit or some shit happened to me yeah. or, you know what I mean, niggas had to do some shit, like talk about how we get money or something like Real that. Real quick, might throw that in little, there. Little, little, you know, something, a little jab, niggas did a little forward right here. <laughs> Some like stupid shit, like you know. That's why I want to get. That's why I be getting into my rapper shit. That's why I be like. That's yeah. why I turn to Justin. That's, uh, that. that's in, like yeah. I, I I love when you turn to Justin. You yeah. dropped a project called uh, AA Alcoholics Anonymous. Yeah, that was really Justin right there. I go for it. And, <laughs> and that's why I brought it up because you know I'm in tune. Yeah, for sure. That was my one. That's, my, that's one of my favorite projects. Too. Why why'd you name it AA? I was True really story. in AA, <laughs> but it wasn't like I'm not like it was really because I had caught a DUI on some clown shit. Feel me? Yeah. And they put me in AA. Describe to me how uh, AA was like. Was literally you, like? Was got it like blessed. I got, I got, got blessed, blessed Loki. I got blessed. Because he was doing blessed. that shit through Zoom. I, it, was, oh, it was during COVID. COVID just you had started. The COVID no, he one. got blessed. Yeah, so <laughs> look, I'm on AA drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on Zoom Ciao. in the crib. Ciao. Fuck it, like because they can't see you. I'm on like, bro. My camera off. Like they, as, soon, <laughs> as soon as they, as soon as them niggas ask me questions, I'm answering the motherfuckers. <laughs> I was at, I was in the liquor store on Zoom on AA gangster. They like, yo, where you at? I'm like, shit, I went to the store real quick. That's crazy. That's it. That's it was funny lying. as hell. So I ain't know what to call it. Yeah. But, it made, but it, like the whole shit, I'm just on here like really venting and shit. So I'm just like, I'm gonna just call the shit AA. Like, fuck it. Like that's what I'm doing right now. I'm fuck it. Yeah. AA. Like, <laughs> damn. I, I and really, that was my first time really dropping some shit like that in that fashion. Like I never. That's one really, of my favorite projects from this. I never my, really. One of my like, favorite. Like, I think Frog different. Lights was. On. Yeah, Bentley yeah, Frog Lights, right? Yeah, it was like, on the it was that on the by deluxe. any means shit. Let me, ooh, let me tell you, I oh, listen to y'all music. Talking on that shit, I swear to God, he was talking different. Like, yeah, I never did not. I used to, I always used to rap like that, but yeah, I never used to put him out. Where I'm did, like, yo, fuck, I'm about to put this shit out. I'm yeah. on some bullshit, and I liked it. Sometimes just to I show how shit. different you could go with shit, uh, right? Yeah. Lana, you put I, out a solo project recently too. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Talk to me about that because it, I think it was very interesting to hear you aside from the group. That was the right? point. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I lied when I said I love you. You talk about how girls, you know, women. Mm-hmm. This one, this one. I ain't gonna. I don't want to say the b word, but <laughs> she had me fucked up. So it's like, fuck it, you know. And I really did that shit because it's like we just dropped lovely. We went up, so it's like, all right. So let's drop solo projects now, so they know yeah. like we could do this shit Smart. individually as well, you know. Smart gangster. Yeah, I ain't gonna front. Do you I get? In, do y'all get in trouble for for yes. your music? Yeah, I got. Oh, you look, I, ain't even, I ain't even finished asking. <laughs> <laughs> nah, listen. I just want y'all to know. I relate. I podcast I already, once I a week. Know where you going with this? <laughs> You <laughs> said the wrong thing on that podcast. Damn. Who you talking about? Who you, huh? Who's that? Who you when did you do that? Huh? But you know what's crazy, <laughs> Chad Lonnie? A lot of the times people don't be understanding. We are living life. Yeah. I am pulling from life experiences. Yeah. How do y'all deal with the people that just don't understand that? Um, I just be like, shit, you're going to be mad. <laughs> nah, you're, you're, you're going to be mad. Like, hey, you're just going to be happy. I'm not even going to explain what I'm myself. Yeah. Delete the song? Right. Like, and I'm going to say how this I feel. Is, this really what happened. Like, that shit, bro. Oh my God, you won't believe, bro. I had dropped. Yo, oh my God, bitches. Sometimes I don't even be saying the truth. Like I be just bullshit. And I made this song called that was it was on the Justin on the Justin project mm-hmm. called um LA for the weekend. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna come clean, all the way clean. I have no bitches in LA. Like, I swear <laughs> to God. I don't even be out there long enough to have bitches out there, bro. Some bitches really tried to though. use that shit against me. Like that shit was crazy. Like, oh, I knew you had bitches. Cause I be out there, you know what right. I mean? I go see the homie, he live out there and shit like that. Right. You know, niggas be having business out there sometimes and then Hell yeah. Like, I just be out there. I leave, bro. Ask these niggas. I don't be in LA for that. I be like, if out. niggas get me to stay in LA, yeah, yeah. Nah, my son be, he, bro. Be I in and out. Be, what should be for LA? I don't what know. Should. I really like New York. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but yo, nah, like, nah. We really New York niggas at our core. I really like nah, New York. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna fight. Course. And I'm gonna come clean. Yeah. It's really because I don't have bitches in LA. <laughs> 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 How many times you been to LA? I treat you. He be in LA. He be That's LA. what I'm saying. I feel like you be out there a lot. Nah, I be, LA I be in LA. I go for it. Sometimes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, sometimes I really just go out there just to you know get away, like. Cause we don't do shit but drink Casamigos and make songs in LA. We really just we got a studio in the crib and shit. <laughs> right. I right. tell you like this, everybody that rap around me got a studio. Thanks. In the house. We all got studios in our house. Me, That's him, amazing. it's me, Dot, Dot Tally, Sushi, and Sushi. Sushi. All, all, dudes all of us got studios in our cribs. Be That's working the, all day that's long. That's the best way to Facts. do it. Facts. Because and why do y'all feel that way? Yo, that because work at the you, you can't know. you can't skip you can't, the work. You can't make the shit. Can't we, skip the work. You can't make the shit that we making. If you gotta pay for your, you gonna have to come out of pocket. I don't even believe in paying niggas, bro. I feel that. 
I no can't way, because we be you. experimenting. You feel me? It, it might sound cliche, but it's like it's really what's going on. Nah, away. yeah, I ain't gonna lie. When you when you buy studio time, you can't experiment because you want to think. You, you can't know even what you, really think. Like you gotta have shit, your shit like, ready. Like, like damn, I only got four hours. I need to get. Something. I gotta get these songs done this four it. hours. I can sit in my crib in my stool for four hours and not make no songs. Mm. I can sit in my crib all day and not make nothing. Wow. But if I got these Casamigos <laughs> and I'm feeling, I and I'm feeling like the yeah. hour, I make the most yeah. OD song, the fifth hour. Yeah. It's like, but I would have yeah. ran out of hours in the studio. You gotta understand, like, I go, I make music over, like, being inspired. Like, I'm the same way with I get in, I get in my mood, like, this bitch got me fucked up. I, mm-hmm. find, a, I find a beat out, like, I just talk my shit real quick. You can't do that shit in the studio. I have to be in the studio all fucking day. Right. If you want to wait to get inspired, <laughs> that's at cost. And, child, you went to full full self, if I'm not mistaken, Talk right? Talk shit, bro. This is your moment right, right here, bro. My not- son went to school for this shit. Like, they yeah. be trying. Like, yo, That's bro, what's different, Lonnie. That's they don't, different, be, no- they don't be knowing. Like, I know. He went this- I know how to use Pro Tools because of this nigga. Like, mm. all jokes aside, he went to school. He got a degree for, for engineering. For no- really? He know how to work that shit, for real. Like, Describe to me what full self is exactly. What kind of school it is. Hell. Talk your shit, bro. You can't. Shit was hell. For real, talk your shit, nah, bro. Come on, bro. They taught that nigga how you to learn some shit over there. Cause nah, I remember I working at Adidas. No, no funny shit. Yeah. No funny shit. If you really want to know how to like work that shit, bro, go there. Like them shit. Them niggas is a great school, hands on and all that shit. I'm, I was only saying hell because it's just like the time of my Florida. life is mad shit. It's Florida. I can't get to see my friends like that. I you never understand. Yo, 2017. Oh. We ain't see child. Oh, yeah, really? You understand. What? Like, I, we used to only see this nigga in Atlanta when we used to go out there to handle business. Yeah. I used to see him in Atlanta mm. more times than I ever seen him in New York. Like our first two years of you, knowing each other. Because I ain't gonna front. It's an accelerating course. So, like. Well, what is what is a bachelor's? You yeah. take four years to get your to bachelor's. Get your bachelor's yeah. take two years. Oh, very accelerated. Yeah, it's month very. by month. And oh, if you shit. fail a now, class, he was in class all day. If you fail a class <laughs> one month, lie. wow. You said a fail a class one month, you're set back. So now it's like, oh. damn, now I gotta stay here another month because you gotta retake that class. Yeah. Next, the next month. It's month by month. And it's just, it's a lot. You gotta go to labs. Nigga, I had to go to lab from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. to wake up to go to class at what? 8 a.m. Yeah, I used to really do that. What? So Thanks when you say lab chat, like, like what, what, what kind of school was this exactly? Is it for audio it's, engineering? Yeah, no, no, no. It's for entertainment. Like they oh. do all types of shit. TV, everything you what? can think of. Gangster. I like, thought that shit was a music. It wasn't. Yeah, it's, too, a music, it's a music. It's an entertainment school. It's not even just music. Like they doing all types of shit. Nah, they shooting son, videos and he shit. He put them hours in though. He did. I ain't gonna lie. Sure. I, I lie. wouldn't I even know how to make music without this nigga. For so fact. important to bring. We talk. Bro, I ain't gonna front. One of my labs was we was in the studio. We had to get on the boards and shit, and we had to one nigga. You had to find a nigga that made beats. You had to. Yeah, we. We had to make a song. We had to put a song together as as a project. Yeah, as a school a project. Lab project. That's fire. That's that was super it was fire. fire. Though. That's fire though. That's yeah. fire school, though. school was fire. Yeah. It's a lot of money. It's it's yeah. fire, but it's it's only a lot. Of, it's a lot of money at one time. It's really the same amount of money to go into a regular school. Right. But you just got to put up a lot of more money up front, and they don't have dorms, so you got to get an apartment. Oh, That's crazy. I learned how to live on my own out there when I went out. Okay, there. so it's not like I'm learning. It was experience. definitely. I, I I appreciated the whole experience. It was, I, it was a great experience, and I, I learned how to. Work Pro Tools, but I made my own template. Like mm. I made my own shit. I got that shit off YouTube. I, shit. I was, some nigga was mixing <laughs> little Uzi um, vocals and shit, and I stole that old niggas pro, old niggas plugins. As you should. And then I just made my own shit. <laughs> Mentally, where were you at that at that time? It was like, crazy. I ain't going front because I was like, bro, I want to see my friends, bro. Like I used to have to like I had a girlfriend at the time. Like she used to have to really take off for of work, come see me. I appreciate her for that. I don't have, we not girlfriend. Like we, that's yeah. not my girl no more. But I fuck well for that. She used to really. That come was see a different time in life, gangster. She was definitely different time in my life though. But I really learned how to um live on my own out there. Became a man I, on the low. Yeah. <laughs> I really had to I teach myself you. how to do shit like yeah, yeah, yeah. cooking all that shit. Like yeah. my mom's not here, my nigga. Chad, like, what you know how to cook? What you know how to cook? Like my son throw down. Nah, nah, you lying. Fake, Where fake. my dad? Chad, what, you, what you cooking, my son man? Throw down. Oh, like, yeah. Really, really, just yeah. the, just the easy shit. You know what I mean, I'm really I was like about a, to say, you I'm really a mashed potatoes, broccoli nigga. <laughs> you know what I mean, yo. He could cook steak. He could cook a good steak yo, and some up. and some lamb chops. You feel nah, me? Yeah, my son, yeah. lamb chops. I get Where crazy on the cast iron. Yo, I get crazy on the cast iron. Crazy? Yeah, I get crazy. Don't make me call my son Jimmy. Niggas, a, nah, yo, Jimmy him and him crazy tag too. team champs in that kitchen, <laughs> boy. <laughs> my aunt Tally. Yo, when come that nah, Tally. Tally. Yo, yeah. young Tally, but yeah. in the kitchen, yeah. yo, that nigga unmatched. <laughs> oh, he get down like that. Yo, no, he learned straight. He learned straight from grandma. You know you gonna lie. You know you doing shit when you start putting the hot sauce on the chicken when. You Before see it's cooked. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before yeah, yeah, yeah. it's cooked. What's yeah. going on? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's really my twin. That's my cousin for real. That nigga really nice though. I fuck with that nigga too. Yeah. I want to hear more about y'all. Y'all click y'all conglomerate. You brought up Tali. Um, I yeah. love the way y'all move as a whole. Yeah. Break it's down
It's niggas I've known for years. Like yeah. it's real relationships. It's not just rapping. It's not just making songs yeah, with niggas. Exactly. It's niggas I really uh, die for. Put my life on the line for. We done been in situations did together. Well, like it's deeper. It's deeper than music. If this music shit stopped today, we all still gonna be friends. Right. For sure, yeah, we yeah. all still gonna be family. And that's important. And, yeah, what's, you know. and what's the relationship between Cash and Swoosh? I ain't gonna front those <laughs> yeah. the buzzings. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Look, boom. Yeah. <laughs> really, we we met. Not met Cash, but we was cool. We started getting cool with Cash with Clubhouse. Clubhouse. She got sleazy on there. Oh, man. Pandemic <laughs> time, right? No, yeah. but bro, like. I remember. I thought I was in one of those. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> it used to get so bad on that Clubhouse shit, bro. On some real life funny shit. It used to get shit. crazy. What was y'all playing on Clubhouse? That's what I'm really. I was playing Smash <laughs> or Pass. Smash something, whatever. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I just used to go really, that shit straight like, yo, who you gonna fuck? Me a like... child. <laughs> <laughs> and bitches are really. <laughs> bitches are really true, though. <laughs> they was really choosing the room. child, Lottie. Yeah. Y'all was playing Kill Mary Fuck and. All that. All that. I ain't gonna lie. It was wow. one time, yo. We gave this bitch a hundred. <laughs> we gave this bitch five bills, bro. We gave her five hundred. Just a moan challenge. Whoever get the got the best moan, we give him yeah. five hundred. I did a moan challenge. Yeah, we gave that bitch five hundred. Oh, y'all go there. But we used to we used to have women empowerment chats <laughs> nah, too we, during we the day. Did. Okay, talk to me about the women you know empowerment chats. Those, the, those for the queens. <laughs> the you know queen. What mean? y'all talking about in there? Yeah, yeah we, we just empowering like, women. Yo, I love, yo, what y'all do? We love what y'all doing. Like a bitch. I mean, what? A woman, a yeah, woman, that's how it went, right? A queen, a queen, uh-huh, a queen, queen. Who would, she would explain what she got going on. You know what I mean? What she do? You know, might be lashes. She might, you know, right. what I mean? a might be a regular nine Send to five. Send twenty dollars on you know, cash. We'll be like, yo, you know what? All right, cool, yo, we fuck with that. Like everybody, go follow her, whatever, okay. go right. support Not her. Though. Like I mean, okay. it wasn't about. You know what I mean, but when it's Nikki hours, know. it's Nikki hours. Absolutely. You know what I mean? nah, <laughs> you. And it gave something to do during that time, right? Yeah. Like uh, mentally, where was y'all at in the pandemic? Yo, <laughs> shit, it was, it was cool. Shit was going on. Was up. <laughs> shit on the love. Shit was going on. Shit I mean, we were just chilling. I ain't gonna find it. Gave us more time to focus on our craft, though, for sure. It was a lot because it wasn't on. shit going on. So it was like, but what we about to do? I ain't gonna lie. When make pandemic music. hit, that was that was. I, it sound fucked up. Like that was the best time. Yeah, of my life. I got like, time to regroup. Sometimes it's crazy to say that out loud because so many time people have passed. Right, but it's when the, you yeah, think it's yeah, like, yeah, right, like right. rest in peace, Fabio. Condolences to whoever. We got the regroup and shit. I had I had a ball. Yeah, I, I had a I had a fucking ball. I love these guys. I had a fucking ball. I had a ball, Let's and I ain't gonna lie, I wouldn't <laughs> even be here if the pandemic never happened. Again, it was just so much, so much space, shit, so many opportunities, so much time to think. Right, right. Now you're right, cause that's how I started making beats. I ain't gonna be see for a minute, right? I've been, I've always been so a, a drawn to the music. Yeah. I just never knew how to, what the outlet was. So like you said though, it took us to fucking slow down real quick. Sit down real sit quick. Sit your ass down. Sit down. Right? Bro, like really think. sitting down. I'm in the we in the crib cooking and shit. We doing shit like just bored. Like just bothering, yeah, doing yeah, just shit. Trying we still shit. outside though, like we was, I was helping this nigga fifth shoot videos and shit. We was shout doing shit. Yeah, shout, shout out to Fifth Ave. Shout that's out to that's fly, the shout best photographer. On my twins. In the in, in New York. Best photographer. I ain't gonna lie though, to take it back to Clubhouse, I'm gonna tell you why that shit's so crazy, cause we used to be on Clubhouse just bullshit and really just having a good time. Me, we used to Yo, never talk look, about never, music. Type well, look, shit. we was in there. Amazing. We, we used to cash, never talk up. about music. We never spoke about music one time. <laughs> never spoke but, about. But don't music. that show the real in people? It do. It yeah, really just show you when that. When it don't feel forced, right? The yeah. universe do shit. Mm. I ain't gonna front because it's like if I never signed up for that shit, we would have never made nobody. We would have never made all these songs that people love. Type love. shit. Holly. It was like, it was like we, we we fucking we formed the chemistry. Before we did music, we knew I go from wow. that clubhouse like, shit. We all uh, knew like, oh yeah, it was like we sick yeah. friend. We just ain't me too yet, but like, feel me. He had reached out to me before yeah. we even did clubhouse. He had reached That's out to fact. me when I had dropped um, That's a sexy fact. boy. He liked some song on there. Amazing. And he was like, yo, this shit fire. And then feel me, but yeah. And shout out to Cash for yo Cash. Nah, I'm gonna tell you something for a little bit now. I'm gonna tell you something I'm, about I'm Cash, bro. Every, yeah, I've been I've been around rappers, industry yeah. niggas, all this shit for a long time. That's one of the realest niggas I ever met in this shit ever yeah. in life. Bro. Gangster, he a real nigga, bro. That nigga keep it a hundred. He not weird. He don't ever move weird. It's a lot of weird shit, especially when you yeah, in a position like him. Yeah, he got the right to move weird. Yeah, like, like bro, he got right, the right. right. You in a position right. like him, <laughs> a lot of niggas move weird. He dead as a real, real one. Like, he's, he's, I really look he's, at that nigga like my brother type shit, like family. Like, how I look at my brothers type shit. I feel like he's definitely responsible for a lot, a lot of the new drill samples. He made that uh, shit. I, he the, absolutely. He's definitely wanna, a pioneer. For I want to give him those flowers on. I ain't going to lie. Is there any other producers that y'all also? Oh, hell yeah. 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 Call up Tay, Bryce. I ain't gonna front X rated uh, T Blossom. T Blossom. And my son. And, my, and, my son. Wow. and you can't forget Power. Power Chat. Nah, <laughs> shout out my nigga Honey Yard crazy. too. My yeah, Honey Yard is And fire. shout out my son Buku. Gangsta. Wow. A lot of producers on the ride. It's a lot going on out the city, bro. But you know what it is too? Like, that's yeah. why I like it because it used to always be on some shit
Like every time we drop a snippet, we tag the producer that did it. Like as you should. Even when I do those new music lists, if y'all peep Instagram or Twitter, I will always put the production credits. Yeah, got to. got to. Not for nothing. Like I feel like nowadays the producer artist relationship is getting real. Yeah, yeah. I'm cool. All my Close. producers, all my producers, I'm cool with. Producers. Like, right, right. I fuck with them niggas. We dead. Shout out Color T. That's them really my be boy. Like, yo, damn, you flocked that shit. Like. Bro, it's so many songs we be making. <laughs> these niggas, bro. It's like, bro, we just all... If it comes full... It's coming full circle, so it's just like, bro. It's niggas point, army, like, and we on army timing. Like, right. Army timing, that's what we That's what we trying to get on. Define army timing. Like, we we unified. Militia. Unif militia. Ooh, I like bro, that. Bro, we, we about like to go... That. Like, it's going to be crazy. Because it's just like... We keep doing that, moving at this rate, like... It's crazy. It's just an upward It's undeniable projection. at some point. It's like, damn, like... I so, mean, I think you're almost at... You probably passed the two million streams. I'm about to be at two million. About to be I'm at, at one point nine, but two million streams probably next week. Ooh, we doing yeah. fifty thousand a week. Majority on the songs on Love Lee have hit more than ten. Yeah. Yo, you know what's crazy, Yo, bro? What's That's up? the crazy. Nobody about to hit hundred thousand streams. That's the craziest know, project, bro. though, bro. I <laughs> Nobody like, was my, my life. I never I mean, dropped no Love project that's moving work. like that. Like that shit was crazy to me. I'm looking I at feel this like that shit. Like, changed the sound. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna say it changed the sound yet, but that shit like. The city, bro, nobody came with nothing like that from the towns, bro. From New York, nobody. That's really we a really whole new... Niggas talking about subgenres. That's a new genre of right. music right there. Right, right. That's, that's R&B soul drill, if yeah. you want to call it that. R&B drill. <laughs> R&B soul drill because of like the R&B... You know what it is, though, too? A lot of the samples are so nostalgic, right? So it'll put you in a place of, oh, man, I remember when Usher did that. I remember yeah. when Rihanna did oh, that. Y'all yeah. are starting to do some cool shit now. You and the producers, at least. Newer records are starting to be sampled, right? When I, I say love newer, it too. Right, like, like records from like 2016. Two, three years. Yeah. Nigga, we, still, we start sampling our own shit. Yeah. <laughs> I peeped that. Yeah. I peeped that. Yeah. What made we, you want to sample your own song? I swear to God, it yeah. wasn't even me. It was Cash. Yeah. Boy, the cash, nigga just sent me the shit like, yo, I sampled your song. Slide the cloud. And then he was like, yo, get on it. I'm like, all right, Tonight bet. with Lonnie, I'm loud. Say so you get money like how? Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like, I'm loud. He Chani. <laughs> <laughs> if niggas ain't know. We the Dudley Bros, a.k.a. the Womanizers. Yeah. Yo, what's up with y'all, bro? <laughs> Slash the boys in motion. But you know what, Definitely though? Definitely the boys in motion. <laughs> Honesty is mad important, right? Yeah. <laughs> what's the name? I wanted to uh, I wanted to read a quote out to y'all that's kind of been like, it's always been in the game, but I want to see where y'all stand on it, right? Because we're bringing up business relationships in the industry, blase, blase. For sure. The game is to be sold, not to be told. How do y'all feel about that statement? I disagree. Please please tell me why. It depends. It depends who you're talking to, though. But I, if you got game, give it, give it out, get the sauce out. Like, don't hold no nah, shit. Nah, selling in. because I never sell no shit, no shit to my brother. That's where I'm, we come from. I'll sell a wave, but like, yo, bro, it's not to my brother though. Not even to my brother. Like, you sell, you, if you selling some shit to a nigga, that means you don't fuck with him. Like, mm -hmm. you supposed to get the sauce out to anybody. Let's say if it's like, like game though, so who could, if you could help him, bro. Tell them how you can help him. Certain like, niggas, I really just chest. tell you though. I just, I just tell, I just you tell anybody how I did anything. Like for the most part. Yeah, I feel like that's really how majority of us are from the from the town in LA. I ain't gonna front like because we come from small places though. Right, if you not extending the branch if you not like feel me pulling the ladder out for you everybody. Got, sometimes you gotta plant your pose. You gotta plant your seeds though. Like, like a nigga really look at I'm you saying. like damn, like that nigga really a real. And nigga. you don't know who he like, gonna you be. You don't know you, what he gonna do with who, that info and to turn into who. I mean, like, like or like or like. You could like he he fuck around turn into like a soldier like you know what I mean I'm not trying to say like you know what I mean he'll fuck for with you sure. like he'll probably jump out the window for you you feel me for that just because he's looking at you like nah yeah there's a lot of niggas that me. jump out the window because that, of that right. it's a nigga that, like that. They, there's certain niggas that you you see how we make music and shit it's like a lot of niggas that look at us as superstars already absolutely you know what I mean absolutely so when you show them that that's so why I always show love to niggas that mm -hmm. show love to me like I don't never just if you talk just back ignore in a nigga like. Nah, I like niggas' comments. I'm 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 checking my my requests every day to see who's commenting on what, who's saying shit. Y'all are actually Everybody who tags me some shit, like, I write them back. You gotta understand, in the towns, we are the stars. We are the stars. We, we we legends from the town. Yeah. I'm saying. It's different. Like, so it's just it's like, different. It, it gotta be like, oh, yeah, see, like, that nigga wrote me back. Like, that shit will probably make the world a nigga. And make you feel like you're a part of it. You know what I mean? But you are. Uh, and a nigga will really probably do something to somebody for you just because that, like, not saying we trying to use them for that, but like, yeah. it's love, it's a, you know what I mean? Respect, love thing. Like, just show you. But respect you know the what, people that too? fuck with you. You can't act crazy. It's just like, for me to act like I don't see that you just tag like, me in this or just hit me up, I would be a clown because I seen it. It's crazy. But you know what? I didn't see it. I'm so glad y'all are saying this because y'all are individuals with over 10,000 followers on the gram and y'all are saying shit like for me to act like I ain't see something is crazy. Yeah. Nah, it's crazy. crazy. Cause I see it. <laughs> yeah. Every, if you tag me some shit that's right crazy. now, I'm going to see it. Unless gonna, I don't <laughs> fuck with you. Unless I don't fuck with you. If I don't fuck with you, that's different. But like, nah, if I still you, see it. <laughs> I'm going to still see it. I see everything people tag me. I see everybody who follow me. 
Wow. Like the only thing that like, my only flaw is that I don't like. I ain't really like. I don't really be mad at niggas for too long. Like I probably would not fuck with you, and then I'll be like, ah, right, it wasn't even that serious, even though it probably was. Yo, bro, if you in my show notes, just say that. I was Yo. just, I was, just, <laughs> I was literally just about to ask you. Like y'all share this mentality that I have too. Y'all get over things very quickly. Let me explain. Mm -hmm. If something really good happens, it gets erased quickly because y'all are so on to the next. Where does that come from? Because I'm the same way. People look I at can't, me. Drive. You can't spill. You can't cry over spilled milk, man. Like if if you going. If you going um, if a nigga did some shit to you and you feel like you can't fuck with him no more, but it was really drastic, then you just gonna have to cut that nigga off. Mm. Or some sometimes you might not want to fuck with a nigga. You just give him some space. Mm. Mm -hmm. But you got you got distance that nigga. But you gotta love him from a distance type mm. shit. Mm -hmm. I'm going through that right now. It's niggas I love that we Same got distance me. right now. But I love him to death. I'll do I'll do anything for them from a distance. I, I'm on a different path right now, so I can't really. I don't got time for your bullshit or whatever you got going on. You feel me? But. Right. Yeah, but it should be too much good shit happening to me right. to be I'm gonna mad tell you, over stupid even shit a pivot or it, even mad over shit. The good shit. Only way I could be mad at a nigga for so long is if he shot at me or some shit. Yeah, <laughs> nah, I could be tight at nah, you. That's yeah. when it's, that's yeah, when it's no stuff. like you can't. And let it's, that it's go. niggas that be that shit. Niggas that get over that too. Oh, not quickly. <laughs> I just seen a clip floating around on the gram. Young Thug said he best friends with, with the, the dude, nigga who shot him. Who shot yeah. him? I'm like, wow, growth. That's yeah, <laughs> not really though. That's gross. Cause it's just like, like I'm not dead. Fuck it. Right. What about for y'all accolades? I heard y'all say this on the interview one time, where it's like, you know, we get an achievement, but I'm I be over that so quickly. That's dry. Bro. That's why I was about to pivot <sighs> yeah, on to. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. tell you, it's just like you can't dwell on things. You can't feel like you bigger than you really are, and you can't get you can't get lost in your ego. Mm. It's very yeah. easy to get lost in ego. It's I very hate. easy to feel like you the shit mm. and you this that. And it's like if I died today, bro, I didn't really do nothing. Wow, you guys are no crit, no funny shit. Cause I ain't gonna lie, right. <laughs> only cause it's just like I yeah. seen niggas just. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you where we from. We whole I, shit. I yeah. did more. I would say probably than anybody I ever went to school with or seen growing up. Mm. And I don't feel like I did nothing yet because I know I didn't though. If I died, like I said, if I died today, what did I? What do I have to show yeah. for it? Yeah. Besides yeah, nah. plays, a couple songs and shit. But it's like, bro, I'm really trying to. We trying to build something bigger than, bigger than everything we did already. Like right. it's bigger than this. And on top of that, you know, when niggas start hating on you, we start bragging. Mm. Niggas start hating. We start bragging I've, about I've shit. Realize that, child. That's niggas why, like, I have to on tell you. myself sometimes. Niggas like, hate yeah. on you regardless. Niggas niggas hate on you regardless. Yeah. When you start yeah. acting like, yeah, when you really start I'm acting really like that you nigga, that and you uh, bigger than you really like are, there's no like point that. to act like Cause that. Cause then they gonna start finding dirt on you. Like, listen, you not that nigga. Da, 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 da. You broke. Uh, you doing? This. I used to feel like that yeah, before when I first when I first started coming outside in the shit. I used to feel like I was way bigger than I really was. Started because I had a chip on my shoulder from high school and shit. So when I really started first started doing shit, growth. He growth. I ain't gonna lie. Yo, I meet this nigga humble. like three years ago. <laughs> Would have been a different nigga right here. It's a different oh, nigga. He's telling sure. you anything. <laughs> he don't give a fuck. Really? Nah, he's it's really growth though. So I, gotta, I, so I guess I want to, my fault continue, yeah. It's just like, I, I never had an ego death, but I, I, I feel like I did. Mm. I humbled myself a lot. That's good. Before you, someone someone else or before something else. Before life humbles you. Word, because life will do it quick. No, life will humble you. I've life been humbled in life. I've humbled myself humbled. before that in the crib. I've been humbled <laughs> in life. shit, nigga. That's good though Because you know Young people shit, When they see all the streams When they see all the Fan engagement It can kind of get to their heads And it kind of could deter them From where they want to be You will feel like you're bigger yeah. Than you really are mm. That shit never get to my head I just be like Bet I'm yeah. trying to be rich though I feel like a normal person Still gangster yeah, I mean, like, I'm a normal person I still run into these niggas right. I feel like we a normal outside. person We still outside We still outside But yeah. you understand Like I didn't went outside bro Niggas be asking Like I had niggas Ask us for pictures and shit Like yo That's Niggas crazy. I don't know yeah. They be like, yo, shit Ronnie, feels great. yo, you and Chav. But it's like, it be crazy to me because it's like, damn, y'all talking like that. I feel like I'm just a regular person. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, nigga, I'm about to go to the same spot as y'all. Like, niggas. nigga, we in the same party. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, what that, are you bro. talking about? That shit is great. That shit they giving niggas everything the flowers. They giving niggas the flowers. Because you know what it is, though? It be like, yo, y'all saying this, this about me. I'm going right back to the hood after this. Wow. Really? I, where I feel super I normal. Be in town. I still see family and shit like that. So for you to want to take a picture with somebody like me is crazy. I guess my next question for y'all is the. See, with this podcast, right, mm. personally, I felt like when random, and I won't say random, when other people that didn't know me started to, like, find it, that's when it started to take off. Mm. Y'all yeah. feel the same way about y'all music, or was yes. it more town-based? No. Nah. Really? I you want to know what's crazy? Yeah. We getting, I'm getting the most love in the town now. Now. Yeah, now. Same. Strangers yeah. is it's fucking crazy. with my shit. I'm going to tell they you. They seeing niggas is doing shit, like, we, but we doing shit. I ain't going to lie. Shit going on. Like, I ain't going to lie. <laughs> Niggas getting billboards and shit, all types of shit, bro. Time like, Square billboards. I'm getting the most, bro. I was, I, I'm not gonna be there no more. But look, I was in Deambiance 
<laughs> in the towns. Y'all know what that said. Y'all know what that said. Yeah. I'm in the That's towns, the bro. The trenches, yeah. The trenches. Yeah. Man. I'm in there. Don't the ask me why I was in there. I was I in there. I ain't gonna ask you why you see me. I've been quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm in there, bro. Yeah. I'm just standing. I'm chilling. I'm in. I'm in the spot with my man's. They just start playing nobody out of nowhere. So I'm like, oh, some niggas no. must have seen me in here. Like, oh, yeah, I got to play yeah. this in there. Shit like that's that. That's crazy. That shit, shit, like ain't that's never really that shit ain't ha- never happened to me before never. in the town, bro. Like, niggas in the town always show me love. That's why I fuck where I'm from. Right. Feel me? They always show me love since I started this shit. But, right. like, it's more love now. Like, How did y'all feel about the Apple Music uh, playlist placements? Because I ain't going to lie. Seeing y'all on a playlist that said... Apple Hot Music, Apple. New York City. Yeah. When we from the towns of LA, yeah. it did something for me. Did, like, I feel like that's about right though. Like, yeah, absolutely, definitely right. Like, shout, shout out to my, to my boy Will. Will though. Yeah, exactly. Shout out to Will. He curated. He definitely, oh, okay. he definitely, he definitely did dog, that for though. us. Now he, he does a really good job of. He does an front, amazing bro. job. I ain't go front, bro. He's he, in did, he did that on his own. Yeah, he did that for. I didn't know that for me. He did that for me a minute ago. He did that for. He did that for before we knew him. I dropped some shit called Thirty Two Hotty. He dropped. He did that for me before I even met him. Yeah, cause he used to Will be a real one. He used to be sure. in them sessions with us too. Wow, he's a real but, one. Yeah, my man, he he carries that he's, shit, he's but tough. he in tune though. His ear to the streets for sure. Yeah. <laughs> wow. See, I love I love people that just be really in tune with stuff. See, we really we, just be meet. That should be crazy. We just be meeting niggas, bro. Yeah. Like, we be meeting niggas, but then they already be fucking with us because they already heard shit and they already and then we just be real niggas at the end of the day when they meet us like niggas not weirdos and shit. Cause real recognize shit, real, right? It really real be, right. Our pers- <laughs> it be our personality go farther than our music. For sure, like when my personality like, went farther than music, at like both, like as long as I've, I've been out. But it's just like <laughs> yeah, y'all don't like gotta be likable guys. <laughs> we, we are. You just want to be weird, you, gangster, yeah. and, we, and we fake lace, so like we yeah, burn yeah, out. Nah, nah, so nah, nah, real life I lace. I relate. Yeah, <laughs> but you gotta be laced to really do some shit. Yeah, you gotta be crazy right? like, to they, believe they make any fun of Kanye. Of the, right? I was about to say that. They make fun of the Kanye's. They make fun of the Elon Musk. Sometimes niggas just gotta be, be niggas a little make, off. Niggas make fun of Kanye mm. then follow him right mm. after. Kanye mm. my favorite ever, bro. It's really Drake for me. That's when we, that's when we this cut ties. That's so yeah. yeah. <laughs> when he loses oh. me. <laughs> so let's stay right here. Certified lover boy versus Donda. 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 And I don't want to say versus. I want to I want to yeah, hear I want to hear how why you enjoy Donda so much. Go into it, bro. Drake, you my favorite rapper bro that uh-huh. CLB shit bro was not better than Donda bro mm. I love you bro <laughs> I love that's, you that's bro from the heart Gangsta. why do you feel that way though bro like, cause he just yeah. took a whole different creative approach on his album bro that CLB it sound like I, that's my least favorite Drake album ever made and I dead really? as wow. love Drake I'm not gonna lie mine too right but I'm just right. so OVO that, that I'm, yeah. dead, I'm riding with this nigga to the wheel he ain't do it, <laughs> he ain't do it for me yo he ain't do it for me bro <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this nigga's talking about. That's how they dead the beef. It was fuck. Con- yeah, nigga, what it is? Till they dead the beef. It was fuck me. <laughs> nigga, <laughs> fuck you talking about. Man, you was really riding, Chad. Nah, yeah, yeah. Now Chad really be riding. That's why I fuck with Chad. He be riding. Bro, I really until love that, bro. Because that's Not really my up. whole. That's, he my whole inspiration, bro. Really? Like so, it's just like, bro, like gangster though. Kanye, my, like, I my fuck with Kanye. You know, like he he was more Kanye fan than me. Like I'm. He not, really the Drake fan. I'm really the Kanye yeah, fan. Yeah, like I buy gangster. Drake really that dude. Drake is that dude. That's my that's my favorite. He has my. But Kanye really. That dude too Like I right. never even spoke that Cause Donda was amazing Right, right, right. It's just, It was his creative approach on it It was just like Yo you, you feel made, like you learned anything from it I, Yeah did. I feel like I literally I ain't even a troll I feel like I got closer with God bro <laughs> Yo <laughs> <laughs> Yo really uh, Yo. <laughs> <laughs> And I bump CLB I got close with my bitches So it's a movie <laughs> It's a movie We both learned some shit <laughs> no, It's a win both ways Yeah, yeah. Fuck you I, fuck, I fucked with Donda though For I sure love, Yeah 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 CLB I love, was, it was I like just, both them albums a lot you gotta understand right. though, this nigga Drake. It's Drake. It's high, high standards. I'm just comparing right. Drake to Drake, like. Right. That's only yeah. It's, it's it's it was. A, I like the album though. I bump it all oh. the time. I just think that was crazy how Kanye got every gangster rapper that we <laughs> listen to to go on his album and not curse and talk and about not, God. Yeah, no, no, that's amazing shit. How the fuck did you do that? I don't think people understand. Like just to put somebody in a mindset, he is, right? He is definitely more creative than Drake for sure. You think so? He's the most creative. He's the yeah, most talented artist nigga, on yeah. earth. His rollout was the biggest, the craziest rollout ever. He walked out of the house on fire. <laughs> yeah, nah, yeah, I ain't going front. Nah, I ain't going like front. You nah, nah, you got it. You if got a nigga it. just start walking on stage on fire, you got bro, it. Now you got it's it. It's like you and you really on fire right now. And you, <laughs> nah, nah, you nah. really on fire. Like, like the fire department is nearby. Nah, nah, Yo, like you really, really on, on fire. fire. Got it. I, I, no, both yeah. those is two amazing. Um, those artists, is two. Those are the two best though. Yeah, but see, I've always been a fan of just people that like push the envelope. Me too. Right? Not like if, even if I don't necessarily understand your sound. So I want to know some artists that y'all fuck with 
that Thug. kind of pushed the envelope. Newer artists, like who, who y'all been listening to, fucking with? Thug shit. Newer Thug artists, new yeah, shit newer. Crazy. And I feel like y'all been fucking. Not even Thug too, right? Like you talking Thug about Thug? No, no, yeah, doing this yeah. Shit. Like um, somebody I was running around with that y'all were recording with last week downstairs. He has a little following, um, Mr. Chicken. Chicken is dope. I fuck with Mr. Chicken. He is fire. Um, nah, it was somebody else. Kind of like y'all age range. I think he has some. Oh, about Pasto, Pasto. Pasto. Yeah. Yes, Pasto. yes, yes. He does Pasto shit with me. Yeah. Pasto fire. I fuck with Pasto. Really. Okay. Pasto young as hell too. I was just talking to that nigga when we was down here. I was yeah. like, yo, bro, how old you are? And they said he eighteen. I said, yo, bro, you don't got nothing to worry about, bro. You got to send the bag. Yeah, eighteen, bro. nigga, I wasn't doing nothing. Nigga, when I was eighteen, yeah. nigga, I was broke I at my mom's crib. Nigga, though. He does. <laughs> Pasto doing his shit, bro. That nigga on top of this shit, bro. He next gangster. Wow. What else? What else y'all been listening to? I ain't gonna lie. Um, shit, me. Let me go. Yeah, me nah, come homies. clean. Like, I'm gonna what? go to my SoundCloud real quick. Mm-hmm. No, Charlie XCX. Talk to me. XCX. Talk to me because, like, you know, I told you I've been making beats, right? Yeah. And I could go from drill music to really like crazy pop shit. Mm. So tell me what, why you are so interested I swear with Charlie. To God. Yeah. Because. Look, Mari sent me some. Mari always send me songs. Yeah, yeah, he do. I'm in band aids. Yeah. He really like music too. He need he to did. get on some A&R he shit. Do, he do, he do. Yeah, we're gonna figure that out. He need to talk more. We're gonna yeah. figure that out. Yeah, He's, but he, he, bro, he be on some real music shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Like that nigga, mm-hmm. he love that shit. So he just sent me shit. He sent me her shit. And I always heard her name, but I never got into her music. Right. You know, I love pop shit. I love getting into different bags and shit. Yeah. I love that shit. You feel like it helps you as an artist? Hell yes. yeah. I just like doing shit. Like it's mad different shit that I got. I never put out. Yo, he sent me this one song. I heard that shit. I'm like, yo, this bitch is amazing. What the <laughs> fuck? Like, I never heard nothing from her. I just always saw her name. Name, you know yeah. Because she makes just generally pop music, it's right? Yeah. Pop. yeah. She's, pop. she's from fucking England. She a Spice Girl. Well, she's not a Spice Girl, but like, damn. Like, I forgot them bitches was from England too, right? Wherever the, the Spice fuck Girls from England? They yo, were. Child, they had a, a Spice Girl, child. I love the Spice Girls. Nah, I do. Though, I love the Spice Girls. Like, love me some Mel. I only know one later. song, but like, I yeah, get yeah. with all nah, of them. I got the album in my car. I can merch it. Nah, no way. God commercial. I got a Spice Girl album in my car and all Aaliyah albums in my car right now. I but see, <laughs> you, you feel like niggas be trying to judge you for y'all music taste? Yeah. Hell no. Nah, they do. Not they, me. Okay, I want to hear Lonnie he first. I'm going to tell you why he lying. Let me hear you. Because he you. don't yeah. go in the car with all, like when you really outside with all the, yeah. when you outside with the with demons. Gangs. Yeah, with the demons. And yeah. when they don't no pop shit, like, I, mean, I ain't going to yeah. lie, you just like, when we outside with niggas, like, mm-hmm. if you yeah, outside yeah, with niggas and play some shit, they're going to be like, what the fuck is this? Nah, you right, you right, you right. But like, I ain't going to, I don't do that, but because I listen on my, that shit, I look. I listen to that shit by myself. Okay, okay. I listen to that shit by myself. I'm in the car with him. Yeah, okay. but it's like, y'all like, both click on yeah. it. Right, yeah. I don't I'm, listen to that shit because everybody, when I do that shit, everybody tell me turn it off. Turn it off, yeah. Yeah, they be trying to kick you off the aux and shit. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, y'all niggas better appreciate this music. Yeah, man. and honestly, y'all should, <laughs> y'all should expand y'all ear. And what people don't understand she's is, fire. yo, she's fire and it makes us better artists. Like, all right, but I see how they did this. Maybe I could do this in a different route. She made me want to make a pop album. Is that, where, is that where is that where you want to go next? It's already done. Yeah. It's a, it's a pop, yeah. it's a pop project. It's not an album. It's five You songs. finished it? It's done. Like it's done? I swear to God. Lonnie, you can confirm this, man? Yeah, it's done. I made it in his room. I made it in his room. Nah, this is great. Yeah, it's when I was in LA, when I was in LA, it's called. It's going to be called A Wonderful Night With My Demons. Yeah, it's fire. It's mad this different, too. No, this is great. And what is? And I guess it's all talking like all about all your demons and shit. Nah, nah, it's really just on some sleazy shit. Mm. Just talking about sleazy shit. Like, I'm talking about, I got a, I got a song on there called Call Girl, How I'm In Love With A Prostitute. It happens to the best of us. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's all right. I'm still in level one. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna lie though. I, I just like trying new shit. Like, yeah, sounds just. I don't want to stand like I'm. I'm. I'm fake over the soldier shit right now. Mm. <laughs> like we that's did what it already. Call it, that soldier, right? That's I mean, what that's called. what it's. That's okay. what it's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like we just R and B, but it's we like R and B soldier. Soul. Like, right, right. It's so the same together. shit, I guess. Like, yeah. How did y'all feel? Sample drill, whatever the fuck you want. Whatever we want, you want we're gonna it. dumb it down. Sample drill. Sample drill, so they can really it's get it. It's fun though. It's very yeah, fun it is, though, and it's, it's relatable, addictive. right? Like understand them, right? The kids now, kids being born in 2000, 2001, yeah. 2002, It's important for them to kind of hear some of that music. It is that was dropping in the nineties, even if it's like with a new drum pattern on it, just so mm-hmm. they could kind of know it. And even past that, yeah. like if you was alive, or yeah. even if you heard them songs and was fan of them songs, yeah. When you hear that, it's like I already like this song already. So like if somebody flip it, like it's easy to be a fan of it. Like yeah, it's like, like I already like that song. Like the so nobody like, song that we yeah. dropped. You can't like, hear nobody and not like that it. song. You love that, song. and then you, we did it yeah. the right way. And then you y'all can't hear that song and not like it. You can't fumble a sample. A sample. All you gotta do is do it the right way. Literally. <laughs> just talk your shit, bro. 
Just sound and get a good sample. Good. Just sound good. That's not easy for everybody. It's not. Though. It sounds that easy though, right? <laughs> yo, shout out to everybody, yo, gang. Just, just sound, sound good. good. Yo, just make a fire song, bro. <laughs> now, everybody got your... I've seen niggas do it though. Nah, word yeah, though, but nah. I ain't gonna. But front. sometimes you gotta flex the sample, like you right? Gotta flex right, you gotta do the sample. She said, like, "Who like gonna fuck you like me?" Then she said, "No man." <laughs> like <laughs> shit like that, like you feel me? Like, yo, that's uh, crazy. That's, cool. it, that's how I knew it was the one done for sure. But is it is it easy to perform those types of records? I know y'all just are coming off the sob show, right? Yeah, hell yeah. I haven't performed since 2019 when I threw my own show. When we did really? SOBs, Let's that was go. my first performance. Yeah, just, was, yeah, just coming performed. off SOB. That was, the, it was Cash's show? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. That was my first performance. Who else was ever. on the lineup? Flea, I think, was in there. It was Flea. I had Flea on the one on one. It was Rob my Meezy. son, 2219 Lee. Okay. Matthew Ali. I'm familiar with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, some, uh, them, I forgot. I don't want to say his name wrong. Hazar, Hazir. Okay. Yeah, Hazir. Hazir. Oh, Has Irv. Has Irv. Has Irv. Has Irv from Harlem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm familiar with him too. Yeah. All right, damn. Yeah, I said yeah. it wrong. See? I tried to be as in tune as possible. He was hard. definitely, he was definitely there. Shout out Gospy. Shout out my son DJ Nairi. And how was the performance? How was the energy? Lit. It's SOBs, gang. Like that's a, that's it was amazing. That's a, that's, that's a was venue. Right. It was yeah. right. The crowd was a little dead, but they was they was fucking with us though for sure. Right. But I'm mean, like that. They just wasn't up. You know what I mean? They just they was, but they were just watching. You know yeah, yeah, they, they was just they're observing. To observe. For yeah, sure. they're trying to understand. Yeah, learn y'all more. I, yeah, it was a great yeah. experience. Though. That was, was one of the best nights of my life. That was, that was got, my first performance. It was. It was, a, it was first a movie. Lonnie, your first performance. How'd you feel on the mic? I was really he, comfortable. He, it was his first performance, but he'd been on stage before. You've right. been on stage. He with always crowds. told me that he used to be like, "Yeah, bro, you was performing. You just ain't had no mic." Right, right. I held that same energy. Yeah, it was lit. Shit was lit. Listen, I know them songs fire. Like, nigga, when I perform this song, I know this shit fire. Yeah. Well, I, I ain't gonna front. Niggas it. was really Humbly. coming up to us after, like, Respectfully. yo, that was a crazy ass set. Wow. It was a crazy set. I, uh, that shit was crazy. I, I, like, I wish I could do that shit every day. Me too. Uh, it's it's just like, yo, bro, I feel like we really at the point. It's like, bro, don't deny me, bro. Don't like, deny our greatness. We came in greatness. in a big body. We left in a sprinter. Like, shit. Oh, was shit <laughs> like that. Like, bro, we was on some Come real rap shit that night. Like, that, that shit was crazy. Bad that night. Yeah. Bad that night. Had the chain out, huh? Chains I up. wanted to talk about that. Child, you got a beautiful new chain, man. Thank you. I love it. You got chopsticks on it with the child. Lonnie, you got veneers. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, yeah, you thought I wasn't going to. Nigga, I told you what I need to know, nigga. Well, talk to me as to why you got veneers. I ain't gonna lie, because I niggas know I used to wear the grills heavy. Right. I never liked my smile, I never liked my teeth growing up. But the up. grills was, wasn't permanent? Nah, they wasn't permanent. Yeah, wasn't yeah, permanent. yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I never liked my shit growing up, so I was like, fuck it, I'm about to go get my shit I'm done. still getting used to seeing bride. this nigga without the grills. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to go back, I'm about to go get some more grills. Honestly, I want I want girls looking at me like, yeah, it's ugly again. Wait. I, <laughs> I feel like they like it like that more. You you think so? You don't think they like this the new set? He's Everybody tell me laced. it looks nicer. <laughs> He's laced. <laughs> He's dead. They say it look nicer, but yeah. it's like, yo, bro. You I don't just... know. I want to go back to being a villain. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Now I'm not gonna front though too. I'll be throwing that shit on. Thank you. Y'all be putting that shit on, man. I try my. So a lot of these rappers, that's Mr. Take that shit off. Nah, hey. <laughs> Mr. Take that shit. Mr. Take. Yo, yo, I ain't gonna lie. Majority of rappers out here need to let me style them. Yo, hey, yo, not for nothing. Be <laughs> we, we, nah, nah. A lot of them niggas need to take Mr. that shit. Take that off. Ninety percent of them though. Rappers no. don't know how to dress no. Nah, yo, I ain't gonna front, bro. This no, shit is. A, this shit is a. This shit is a. <laughs> <laughs> every day, my nigga. You gotta we really be on some get up and try to make money every day. Every day shit, yeah. It's hard. Yeah. When you gotta chase money, the time. you gotta chase money, then mm -hmm. put all the shit back into this music shit. Mm -hmm. So you kinda kinda divide it a certain way, like shit, certain amount nigga, gotta go to investment. Doing, we doing all this shit niggas don't even understand, shit. like we you know how much we invest into our images, bro. Yeah, so we what? really doing all this shit for me. How much I think that I give up tens of thousands. I ain't gonna so. front. I would love to half, have a rolling bro. Half a hundred. Have I a would, ticket. Have like, a ticket. I would love to have a Roly. I would love to have a chain. Mm -hmm. I don't need none of this shit, man. I'm uh, a rapper, though, so I do. Oh, uh, so now we're we getting mean? somewhere good. See, I don't think I would even have social media if I didn't nah, do Nah, I would, because I, bitches I would, too, but yeah, I wouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> bitches on there, I need My to be fault. on there. Yeah, you got to But, like, you feel me doing yeah, all yeah, this yeah. shit, man? Like, I really had to come out of, like, right. uh -huh. really run up bread. I think it's just crazy, to do like, shit. like, it's crazy. They won't give you a chance, though, if you don't look like this. You don't, bro. You don't think so? Bro, I swear to God, if we didn't have none of this shit, Nick, bro, you gotta understand, we walking into studio sessions, yeah. we're walking into rooms with chains and watches on, bro. Yeah. You gotta understand, yeah. and I've been Diamond in rooms shit. without yeah. them, yeah. and you, you get fit, looked over. And you get looked, ah. Bro, you feel me? Like, they already, you, you, you look yeah. like somebody, like, come if to you, look like somebody, they gonna shoot you like you somebody. You gonna look at me like, who is this nigga? Right. I already got your attention because I walked in here with jewelry. Yeah. I look important. Yeah. Wow. 
It's it, dead ass. It's not even. It's it sucks, that's a real but that thing. Ha- it has to happen. It has to happen that way. You gotta you invest to. in your you, ha- you invest in yourself. I feel the same way on this podcast. I'll be like, yo, I'll be buying clothes just because I'll be on camera so yeah. much. Like I feel like, like I got mad music videos and shit, right? People don't understand I like the for budget. every oh video. God, they don't even understand bro. half of that. Like bro, I can't put on the same. Me. They killing me. You know how much clothes bro. I does cannot wear again that I spent thousands of dollars on? Bro, killing me. We buy shit. Bro, we want. Bro, bro I got two thousand dollar jackets love, that I wore five times. The young love video, and I'm not even trying to like brag not or nothing on like, some shit. Like I'm no. rich, bro. Listen, yeah. we still, bro. We in the trenches still. We like, still, we, we still in the trenches. Listen, bro. We putting up all this money, bro, just on pieces, bro. Just to look good in a yo, fucking video. Yo, they don't know video. how much them Prada shares cost, bro. They don't know. Bro, them Prada shares, they don't know. Yo, me and the buzzer got a few of them. On the, on the we shirt. got a few of them. I ain't gonna Danny lie. Kicks with it. The New kicks. season. Bro, Rick, I just... Alright. <laughs> Alright, man. Yo, bro, but no, it's listen, important, bro. Because some of the times, gang, the fans need to hear this shit. Because they'll just see you on the on their phones or on YouTube and just think nothing of it. And it's like, do you really know how much I'm really investing in myself to do this on a week to week basis? They don't, bro, man. week to week, then do video you know? to video, bro. Mm. Video. You gotta mm. listen, listen. Let's let's, let's, yeah, let's, break, let's, it down, let's break, break it down. Break like it down. You gotta buy models. Okay, look, you gotta buy first of all, you gotta look crazy. So that's number one. That's oh, you're probably, you're already probably gonna twelve hundred. Yeah, two bands. Oh, whatever. That's just on the fit. That's just on your fit. That's if you want to look. If you want to look. That's if you, you want to look that strong. Strong. dollar. You know what I'm saying? You don't really gotta. You don't really, really gotta do that every time. You want to okay. get a little spot? I'm not lie spot to you. five hundred. Yeah, at least spot. Right. Spot the spot. You gotta put up money. You for gotta that. put yeah. Then you gotta buy models. Queens. Models. <laughs> I'm trying to take bitches out my vocabulary. Yeah. Oh yeah. Vixens, Vixens, you gotta play. Vixens. I ain't gonna lie, if you not, and I ain't gonna lie, we do the shit in house. If you not yeah. doing your videos in house, now you gotta yo. pay a video. Okay, so now fifteen hundred. That, listen, we yeah, yeah we got shooting five, this shit in house. So the, every video, so the free, so the videos are free for us. So we're just we're just buying shit for the video. You feel me? Right. That. So if you're not us, you gotta buy a videographer. So yeah. you gotta fuck around. Tell Fifth Ave pull up. Yeah. And now you gotta pay a you thousand for that pay. video. See that's that. another thousand. Wow. You feel mm-hmm. me? Like that's crazy. So and, and, for and, every video? Yeah. Every video. <laughs> My nigga. I really understand that. Anyway, that was five bands, six bands for one song. <laughs> See, it's shit like do you do y'all hear that? <laughs> you just say five, six that's bands. That's five, six for bands one for song, one song. And then, and then just for somebody not to really. But that's, if you, but that's if you like. And, then, and you don't even talk about lane. promo. If you, that's in your lane. Because you, know, you don't want to talk about niggas, marketing. Niggas, right. Yo, yeah. Because then it's like, damn, I got to put up money. Now that's more. But how bad niggas really want to make it? Cause how they do you want, how bad you want it? <laughs> how bad do you want it? Because I fronted, I could tell you, I fronted tens of thousands, bro. Damn near probably upwards to a hundred of thousands, bro. <laughs> in the shit. For sure. Over the, over the years. Over the for years, sure, for sure. But you gotta want it, bro. Yeah. But we getting the feedback. Why not? Why stop? Yeah. Stop because stop it now. Because ain't no money around. Go get some money then. We yeah. gonna get some money. Right? Go go. If we f- gotta get a job, something, do something. Like, something I'll, to fund it. Something, bro. Child, you got you just dropped Sue Me. Yeah. Hopefully they don't. <laughs> <laughs> Explain that, please. Sue me. Um, and I was surprised because again, I was still off the high of off Lovely, of Lovely. Right? Lee. I'm still on that high. I ain't gonna front. I you wanna know why? Yeah. I was gonna drop that shit yeah. on my birthday, eleven twenty three. Um, November twenty third. I was gonna drop that shit on my birthday. I already had the album done. I'm sending it to niggas like, yo, this is my album. Listen to it. Yeah, you know I mean, I fuck with you. Niggas is bombing me. They're bombing you. Yo, what the fuck you mean? You dropping this shit on your birthday? Nigga? Drop, drop this shit, shit right now. Night. <laughs> I said, damn. You got peer pressure? I said, yeah, he did. Yeah. You got peer pressure? He did. Yeah, I said, yeah, yo, I said, yo, but damn, I just dropped the lovely shit. Nigga said, so? So? Niggas over that now. Niggas heard that. Niggas gonna bump that. Drop some new shit. Stay I right said, there. Stay I right said, there. All right. <laughs> like, but stay right there. The attention span of your of your fan base. Yeah, it's Explain short. it to me. Really? It's short. You wanna know why? Because they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna bump it. They're gonna show attention to it when it drops for the first two, three weeks, month. Fuck it, if it's that hot. First two, three weeks, month. I hope people are listening to this because people really think they drop their music and people just listen to it. Look, they're, they're gonna listen to it. <laughs> sure, but sure. But they're not gonna keep tagging you in this shit. They're mm-hmm. not gonna keep getting traction Facts. on your social media. You gotta do new shit every day. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So mm-hmm. boom. So you know, we we sharing this shit every day. You know, they might tag you in it every now and then when they bumping it. They're gonna bump it. Right. But you understand, you're not a little baby. You're not a little baby. <laughs> You 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 don't need to roll out. Just drop another thing. Like hey, you feel me? Like you can roll it out and still. It's, it's no label stopping you. Drop you can some roll more it out music, still. Fam. Just roll it out. 
the right way. Like, okay, Drop some more music get a nice chance. cover. Make sure you have press. Like, you know what I mean? You just got to have a team. Like, it's easy it's, it's easy said and done, though, because a lot of niggas don't have a team, but we do, so we taking advantage. Right. Fuck as, it. You, like, as you should. We have everything we need. Like, why not? Like, I'm not going to be mad because I'm not going to pity nobody because they don't got the shit. Like, yeah, fuck yeah, it. Yeah. We got it, so that's why we doing it like this. That's why it looks easy for us. We have a team. It's it's a multiple people that's funding this. It's not just us. And everybody mm-hmm. seems like they're on the same. Now we on like the you same. have to be on the yeah. same. We on the same yeah. sentence on the bro. Page. Listen, we link every day. <laughs> yeah. We link every day at my house. We have a whiteboard. We we update the fucking plays. The plays. I've seen we talk Mari about, post that. We talk and about you, this yeah. shit every day, bro. We talk about it every day. It's, this is the only thing we want. But see, talk to me about that, right? Because people that see how frequently I drop. Or just see how y'all live like rock stars might not really see how seriously I actually take that They're not that supposed shit. to. No, oh, oh, why not? They're not supposed to because that's behind the scenes. Mm. That's, they're supposed to see what You they just sell the consumer with they not to call niggas consumers or fans or no, not they, like But they that. are. Yeah, like yeah, they, treat just, us, they treat you, us just like, oh, that's right. You <laughs> see the good, you see what we show you, you see the final product. Yeah. But the work that go in, you don't but really we gonna, see we gonna that. We're going to start doing that. We're going to start vlogging and showing niggas what we do. Like, oh, yeah, what I'm we really do. Shit. Like, because mm-hmm. we do. I'm telling nah, you, because there's so much that do, go into it that you wouldn't bro, even we understand. Wake up, like, do it. We bleed, we eat shit, this shit, bro. Wow. Like, really, though. Like, this is all we want to do. Like, I'm not even, like, I'd be on some like, damn, I feel like I'm getting, like, I should have a business out of some shit. Right. But then Mari be like, nigga, this is the business. This is the business. Yeah, I'd be like, up, nigga. I have friends that tell me, really like, like, tell me too, I have to like, fix up. Like, you really got to fix up. Like, this my shit. Like, yo, I'd bro. Like, All right. Niggas can't talk me off this ledge, bro. Like, this is what we do. Like, nobody talking me out of this, I bro. really believe. I will like, never I stop. You feel, like, you feel like just making a, a business on the side would deter y'all? Nah, hell no. Okay, I just meant okay. like, you yeah. feel me? Like, because I ain't going to I'm, I'm going to keep it a bug with you. Like, right. This shit don't pay, so we have to go out our way to start doing <laughs> extra stuff to get funds. Talk about it. we and, and, and sometimes no, we're not gonna talk about no, it. No, no, not gangster though. We do what we have to though, right? Yeah, we do what you that's gotta what I, do. We though. do what we have to to get <laughs> this money, and that's just what it is. But that's then, what it but, is. But for then sure. we on we do we put the shit right back into us. So it, all it this shit go back into the music though. Like bro, like <laughs> shit. I tell you, them billboards ain't pay themselves. <laughs> and that's something to talk about. Speaking a of lot billboards, of shit. speaking of billboards, the whiteboard that you have in your room, you said, right? Mm-hmm. What's on there exactly? Because I saw a picture, plays. but I want you to explain it. The plays on every all the album. tapes with all the plays. We that's what we track every, shit every out we before can. we drop it. Like that's the mm-hmm. vision board. You put your little wishes on it, nigga. We better get rich this year. Yeah, a little right, a little shit. <laughs> This you got to though. You got to write out your this goals and manifest do, them. This Facts. is all we do. This is the only thing I'm good at. That's how you write spells. <laughs> you ever seen a movie with witches and shit? That's how you got to write your spell. Yeah. Mm. Kind of like manifest it. Yeah, yeah manifest manifestation is it's the real thing. That's it, real though. With my good. mother, we was in here talking about um, OVO Sound Radio. Right. The um That one time. Right, right. Like two weeks later, I was on OVO Sound Radio with Swoosh and Cash. That's oh, crazy. I got them. So Everything I have in life, I manifested. Mind you, OVO Sound Radio some shit we all used to listen to. Yeah. To kind of hear y'all on, like, how did yo, that? I, but look. Yo, what the Funny fuck, story. Bro? Yeah. He's, <laughs> where he's at in the city, we went to Julan that night. Love Julan. With my little It's leg. great. We went y'all to Brooklyn Shop House last night. That <laughs> That's shit was good. Y'all treat. That yo, shit was hit a vibe me. in there. Y'all at my spots. <laughs> <laughs> that was my first time there last night. That was Fucking, a vibe in there. Um, nah, it's he had there. bought a driver, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he had a little Psst, leg out there. I had my little done set out there. He made this last album about. That's what I was with. So he was out here with I his hate wife her or whatever. And I love her. <laughs> <laughs> He's out here with his wife or whatever. Yeah. He had the, he had bought the shit, the driver for the night or whatever. Yeah. So we went to I went to Julan with them, feel yeah. me? I was supposed to bring a leg. She left me stag, but it's alright. <laughs> <laughs> um I went there, we went to we ate, we had a nice little dinner, feel me. He went back. He's like, yo, just take the driver wherever you want, my nigga. <laughs> look, how, look how they living. So I said, yo, all right. Uh, we live right. Look how they living. Huh? I took that shit to the crib. I said, oh, we already, we already saw my billboard. I already had, we had the lovely, no, we had the lovely we billboard the out, lovely right? Billboard. Okay, Thanks. yeah, we already saw the billboard that, right. that day. I said, I'm, I'm tired of seeing that billboard. I seen it already. Right. I'm going to the crib. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah. I already ate. I'm, I'm going to sleep. Went to the crib. So I'm, Niggas text me like, yo, we about to be on OVO Sound Radio. Shout out Glenn Brown, The Reason. That's my boy. Shout out to Glenn Brown, yo, man. He's been Glenn around Brown. for a while. That I, nigga I think is. he had Ellie Lent, right? Ellie and... 
Yeah, L3NF. Cool. Right. L3NF, I, I don't yeah. even think Glenn know how much niggas used to look up to him when we was kids. Yo, I, I don't nigga, think he really understood. I never got to tell him that, that shit. Nigga, like, that, person, that nigga really the reason. Like, no, I don't <laughs> think he really understood. I used to watch that nigga when I was that a nigga little the kid. Reason, like, bro. Bro, I don't I think they think... really, I don't think people like him really understand. People like him and Devon that owns the studio, I don't know if y'all remember. And when yeah, I know, I, I know who he is. When I was in high school, Devon was doing all the Drake covers. Mm, yeah, fact. You know, like he would do the covers of Drake's music on YouTube, oh, yeah. but would kill it with like the auto tune and the crazy background. So mm -hmm. I co to come back to Glenn, it's so beautiful to see how they come back full that circle shit every time. Though, yo, he they really don't he get humble it. about it though. I know, he know what he did. Glenn is the shout to Glenn, man. He, he, knows, he know goal, he did, bro. but he got he got us on there. He got us on there, and um, fucking, I'm like, yo, I'm telling the driver, like, yo, turn to this shit, put this shit on. Yeah, I said, yo, I'm about to be on OVO Sound Radio tonight. He said, nigga, you lying. I said, I. That's what the Uber driver told yeah. you? Yeah, word of my mother told me I was lying. <laughs> he he said, he said, nigga, I said, watch this. I said, I said they play some shit, so I'm waiting for my shit to come on. The shit came on. Heard the cash out. I said, watch this. <laughs> shit, I started rapping. I said, what I tell you, dumbass nigga? <laughs> 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 he's like, he's like, he's like nah, nah, he wasn't even hating. He wasn't even hating. He was just didn't believe it. Nah, he was on some shit like, you was lying. He was really still my driver and shit. Nah, I ain't gonna front. Like, gangster, that nigga was like, yo, he was hyped, though. He was like, yo, this really you? <laughs> I'm like yo, that shit Wait, was crazy. Wait, he was similar in age to you? Yeah. Fake, oh, fake, 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 fake. fake, fake. But like, okay. bro, we, I yeah. really shared that moment with that nigga. That shit was crazy though. He was like, yo, this is crazy. Like, bro, gangster. That nigga just took me that shit, but I really that back to manifestation. Like, yeah, bro. Like, literally, we was talking about like. I was two in a weeks telly ago, like, on the obvious side. I'm with my bitch. I'm like, yo, this really, this, this is really, bro. Happening. It was like, but this it said, really it said, happening. it said, yeah. it said, OVO sound radio. Then it said, and it's be from Cash, Cash from YouTube. YouTube. Then it said, child. And then it was like, yo, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. That was the craziest shit. Wow, bro. It be small she things like that. Y'all got him. Yeah. He said, fucking your bitch might pass it to Lonnie. Oh, <laughs> Fucking, you about to play that shit? Nah. <laughs> I'm about to say, don't get me excited. Yeah? <laughs> you about to play that shit? <laughs> don't, get, don't get a nigga like me excited. That's yeah. my shit right you there. You about to play that shit? Nah, it's funny yeah. as hell. Yo, shit, don't get child. <laughs> Slow down, nigga. What's the name? So, y'all whole mantra, too, is... um. Fuck the label, we the label, right? Mm -hmm. Fuck the label, we gonna run in Atlantic. Fuck the label, we gonna run in Atlantic. Y'all been saying that to me, right? So you've uh -huh. also told me, like, in conversations we have behind closed doors, you've had meetings and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. thanks. Have y'all been unimpressed by that shit? I, hell no. When I went to Atlantic, oh my God, I almost nutted. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> wait, what you mean, gang? That shit was crazy, They had man. you geeked just, in there? How they had you geeked in there? They, I just was in there like... Yeah, look where I'm at. Damn. I'm in Atlantic, Atlantic right now, bro. Right. Uh -huh. You got to understand, bro. I just moved to Cali, too, like, with these niggas, bro. We, you got to understand where we at. Like, oh, yeah, you moved to Cali, right? Yeah. For, like, a year, right? Shit, a couple months. A couple months. I remember I that. Make it a year. Make it a year. About a year. I miss New York too much, man. Fuck this shit. Then you understand, pandemic had just happened when I moved. Like, yeah, I moved shit. in, and pandemic happened, happened like, a couple months later. Uh, so when I was in New York, I was visiting New York, New York, and then pandemic happened. So I'm like, why would I go back? Why would and I go about back? To shut down everything down. I'm about to just stay. It was worse in, in Cali, too. Yeah. The, the shutting down and all that shit. Yeah. Uh, shut down in Cali was I just moved to Cali, so I'm just like, Femi, we linking, we linking up with the right people for me. I got some projects out and shit like that. I got some unreleased songs. I went out there, I made a fucking album that never came out, bro. My son Honey Yard linked it. Shout, shout to out Honey, Honey Yard. Shout out Nikki. Shout out to Nikki too. She linked it for me, so yeah. she's like, yo, shit, Atlantic tomorrow. I had to bring my boy Eddie P with me. Shout, Shout out to Eddie P, P man. No, Another legend Eddie P, from the town. Eddie P really is the nah, one. He's the one. Another legend None from the town. None of this shit exists without my son. That nigga could talk his way in any room. Man. Any yeah. room, nah, bro. Any room. And my son, I worked at Adidas. He worked at Nike. He expecting a yeah, child right yeah, now. Yeah. That's my little nephew yeah, and shit. Right. About to be born, yo. Shout out Eddie P for real. Shout that's, my, Eddie, that's my brother for that real. Nigga. It was me and Eddie P. Me and Eddie P. We went. We was on some business shit. We woke up dumb early. Right. He's like, "Yo, you ready, nigga?" I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> and at the time, you don't really know what the meeting's gonna consist of. Bro, right? I never been to a meeting in my life before. Got you. He lying. He lying. One uh, time we went to cinematic. We went to cinematic. Oh, cinematic. cinematic. One time. oh yeah, yeah, those my people over there. That shit cinematic ain't off me no deal. I ain't like that. Mm. It wasn't about nothing. That cinematic. It was really just. They were just, we were just there today. They were just mm. scouting. It wasn't a meeting. Okay. It wasn't trying a meeting. to see what it was like at cinematic. It wasn't a meeting. Yeah, yeah. It was at cinematic. It was just at cinematic meeting people. It wasn't a meeting. We was talking to uh, a &R. Like, This Cinematic. was a real meeting At Atlantic like, He had a real, real Atlantic sit down Like, like I, I had to sit down I With an a &R. He was telling He straight just told me Like he fuck with everything I'm doing He fuck with all my shit I had videos out I showed him the shit He's just like You just yeah, You gotta get your Your plays And your social media up. They ain't gonna fuck with you In here If you don't got it He said like To be honest Like he just told me What it was gonna go happen He was like 
I'm a pitcher, but I don't think they going to fuck with you just because you just don't have the 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 fucking fans or whatever, you know. And that's so interesting, it's right? Cuz you think up, to, but it's just like cuz you think to yourself, you'd be like so then why I came up in here yeah. if he wasn't going to have Not like even. extended I, I appreciated the whole okay. shit because okay. he kept it a buck with me. He ain't just looking right. at me and say, yo, all right, I'm going to see what I could do. Like he right. said, to be honest, like I really love this shit. Like I, you, if I didn't like ask her, like I would have told you this shit is whack. But he's like, this shit is crazy. He's like, but honestly, they just going to try to fuck you if you don't have a leverage. You got to come in here with leverage. Right. And I was like, I right, bet. Like Leverage is how you negotiate percentages. Yeah, like he's like, they just going to try to fuck you, you over in here because you got good music right. and you don't have Oh, he a, kept it real, honey, yeah. with you. Oh, he kept, kept it, it real, That's why I you. fuck with that. Absolutely. I fuck with that. I was like, all right. I mean, let shit. My Instagram went up that day because I'm like, yeah. I'm in Atlanta. Atlanta. Like, you feel like, like, me? I got something out of it. The leverage from now to then is way different. But niggas probably still don't got enough leverage to go fuck with them boys in Atlanta. They asking for too much though. Yeah. Like you can't judge all that shit straight up clout. That's not how you do this shit. And when you say they asking for too much, too much uh, creative control, you think in the future? No, they literally creative want you to be some nigga the, on Instagram with all these all likes and followers and shit. But it's like I gotta have that. Like I the, gotta the, have cre a hundred percent creative control. They gotta let me young boy it. I gotta uh, yeah. be able to do whatever. I creative want control to do. the biggest aspect. Cause it's just like it's no way a nigga about to tell me I can't drop. What the fuck? Like what the fuck you mean I can't drop? <laughs> what the fuck you mean you don't want this song on here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, what the fuck you mean I can't? Rec uh, I heard they that's told one, cause you. That's what because yeah. it's like what am I doing it for? Like yeah, that's my whole thing. Like I gotta have that. They can't tell me that shit because it's like yo, bro, it's no money you can offer me. Like how much money could you really offer me? Any amount of money these labels offer you, you can make it yourself, bro. If you really know, if you really outside, bro, and shit going on, bro. Talking right now. These niggas not gonna offer me no money I never seen before, like, bro. Oh, they are. You can say, <laughs> I, yes, they yo, are. Bro. Yo, chill. They Where are. Know yo? I'm gonna tell you, bro. You gotta be talking like three, four. If you offer me a million, I can make a million dollars by myself. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't even want y'all to take three, four. I'll take, I'll take, I'll take a million. What, what, what? Nah, I'm saying though. Juice I would take a like million three, of a four. label off Juice me. Juice took three, four. Juice, Juice took three, three four. four. I'll take, I'll definitely take a three, four. I'll take a I'll million take three, if four. I got creative Cause control. You, Cause I'm gonna tell you why. That's the thing though. A lot of the times with three, four creative control don't be with it. It don't nah. be there. If you Juice World, I'll never, Juice World I'll never sell my soul, bro. I love that. I ain't gonna fight if I it's not, that. but if it I can make a million dollars by myself. Right. I'm not gonna take a million dollars right. and it's fucked up the, and it don't, don't make no sense. The hundred percent creative that shit, control, I can't take it. I can make a million dollars by myself. <laughs> you can lower it though. I'll take, I, I take two. I'll I take two. I'll take a hundred thousand. I'll take a hundred thousand one album and I, I can do whatever for, I want. Thug sign me for a chain right now. Hundred <laughs> percent. Thug sign you for a chain right now. For a chain. Why sell chain? Why sell chain? Sex. You gotta understand. Uh -huh. All that bread they're giving you, you gotta recoup. You gotta what recoup all your bread. That's what I'm <laughs> what saying though. Because right right niggas are laughing at you for getting a fifty thousand dollar deal, but you gotta recoup your deal. Like it's easy to recoup. The more money they give you is the deeper you in with them. Yeah, you get signed for a hundred thousand. The fuck is a hundred thousand? Hundred thousand, easy to recoup. Facts, but, see, but niggas don't know how labels work. They don't know how deals work. I know how this shit work, bro. I've been watching this shit for a very long time, bro. We study this shit, bro. Y'all not about to sign me and think that I don't know. I got to recoup my deal and I spend my my hundred thousand dollar advance on some stupid on some shit. Stupid shit. I got a rolly already. Yeah, nah, all right. And it <laughs> I got good. bad drip. And it my good. buzzing got a rolly already. You got a chain already. Y'all niggas not gonna sign me for no chain for no rolly. You're right. The right. fuck? I got this on my own. I guess that's why it's sort of important to kind of build. And this is part of your leverage because like that's now leverage. mentally you feel like you're not gonna like, sign me for no watch uh, absolutely you're not gonna you sign like, me I, for no chain i kind of know i'm kind of getting to where my value is at you can't just put a chain on and be like you I can't, can't be like oh yo i got this diamond chain you yeah. ever seen a diamond chain before yeah like the buzzing got it on got, <laughs> my rolly all the way so bust down like bro. everybody got a chain come on nah, it's true, i'm bro. saying that's it's leverage true. though like y'all niggas they're pandemic. really trying to sign you for a watch Pandemic. They were we trying to sign out of for a some pandemic. jewelry. It's, everybody has everything. The fuck, man. I look like signing for a jewelry or a car. Or Me, like, like a you chain. know, like money is money, but it's just like I'm doing this shit for music. Wow, just to have the understanding of this shit is very important because you know a lot it's of the this, most important thing because yeah. you will sign that deal. And, and nowadays, fuck. everybody want to be um, independent anyway. And you feel like that's a good or bad thing? It's a good and bad thing. It's harder to be independent, it's but it's harder better. to be independent. But you gotta be hard to be independent. I'll sign. Mm. I'll sign a major, mm. but the deal has to be right. I'm not signing just sign any deal. Like you, this. You'll sign a major because you feel like they'll do like all the extra shit they that y'all been running around doing. They right? They will do everything that you don't want to do. We could do majors though because it's the type of music we make. Y'all make absolutely. It's hyper pop or like we just different make, types of variations of rap. Like yeah. if love, we mm. could say if, like that love album would have came out with I'm a major. You. I'm if you Lovely came out with a major, bro, like they pushing that shit to the Ma, next level, bro. Pat my back or toot my own horn. No, no, no. Like, I promise you. 
That Anybody could go crazy. listen to that's that the, I, That shit was just OD. If you I feel already. like it's no skips on that. I feel like, damn. I feel the same exact Skipping way. a song on that, you hating. Gotta be. Or it's just like, all right, cool. Like, it, I just like this song better. <laughs> but like, I just feel like that shit is crazy. Shit a dirty game, though. They take advantage of people that don't know. But it's like, I'm not stupid. Nobody's going to take advantage of me in this industry. You know what my advice to um, artists is nowadays when it comes to music? Because a lot of the times, even if you get on and you have like this big ass single and niggas just fuck with your project, yeah. longevity don't be in it for a lot of people. So what I, what I advise is if you could just have get a skill in it, like engineering, uh, A&R, whatever it is, where you could always keep a job in music, mm -hmm. I guess necessarily... Being a big ass, crazy ass artist no don't really funny shit does. matter. Yeah. Even past my, that, like that's right. my plan B. Yeah, yeah. You know even if I mean? you even can't, I, we always on plan A. But like, if you could get a bag out of shit, do shit. not go and spend your money on the dumbest shit. Don't blow your events. Don't go and spend all your money that you got from these people Coming on stupid from a shit. With thousand dollar glasses, Rolly, them Sachi's, them Sachi's, them Sachi's. These nah, Louis. Are those Louis, Louis, Louis joints? Yeah, oh yeah, those are new Louis joints. Yeah, I love them. I mean, shit. but you gotta understand, he yeah. a rapper, so he gotta do that, y'all. Yeah. Don't try this at home. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, it's just like yo, don't bro. But I ain't gonna lie though, if you get yeah. a good deal and you and like, bro, if you feel like you don't got no longevity in this shit, bro, right. save it. Because mm. a lot of people in rap don't have that. Like, bro, your lifespan in this shit is six months. Mm. If you feel I'm like you're not gonna years. make it past that, bro, I'm you better you just hold it down. Right? Bro. And just understanding and knowing I understand that. Who yeah, are, understand who you are. Just understand who you are. Right, right, right. So you can actually do things that make sense. We you'll get this rap years. money. Money when money comes fast, you'll spend it as quick as you got it. Don't do that. That's bad. You know how much <laughs> I money again, I spent? I, every dollar I spent, bro, I regret it. I hate spending money. Hate it. Every time Sucks. I spend fucking money. I regret money. everything I spent money on, but it's like mm. I feel like I had to, but I regret a lot got of shit you, I spent money you. on. It's a got waste. A lot Most of shit's a waste. Most of the time you doing, you doing what you got to do for your image and all that music, or whatever, and other money that you spend is for yourself. Majority of shit I spent on clothes and jewelry was a waste. I'll tell that. It's, it's not worth it. It was a waste because it, <laughs> it's never a waste because you're a rapper. You got to look good. You're right, but I ain't going to front. If you like a kid, like, bro, if you like, bro, this shit, niggas don't need this shit. <laughs> Gangsta. Yeah, but, you know what I mean? Let's, you know what I mean? Niggas going to do what they do. I mean... We in this shit for longevity, man. I'm in this shit for longevity, though. I know. Shit, Once the they let me in the door, making, nigga, I'm here. We could sell these shits. Fuck around right. and sell them. Right. Like. Even if it's like writing for other people. Just Books and people don't understand. People. If you want to work in music, you could do that. There's so many different other I ways. I would do it. Yeah. I, just, I just want, we do this shit every day. It's just like, yeah, yeah you can have this song. I don't even care about this I'll song. write for people. And I'll let people write for me. Yeah. And nah. I feel like one. I feel like some of y'all should get into. I want to let nobody write for you. You want to let nobody write for you? Nah, I lied. I did that. <laughs> if that shit yeah. fire, I'm Might dead ass say saying that. If that shit yeah, fire, I'll let you write that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm but not like, even lying. But like, nobody. Fuck, I'm in this for music. Me. I don't give a fuck about me, no fucking MC. Like, right. I'm not a rapper. Right. I mean, I could rap, but fuck all that. You know, but you understand your lane. You do what yeah, you know how I'm to do well. Make yeah. Songs, I'm here to nigga, make songs. I don't yeah. care about being on MC, none of that, whatever. Me neither. Fuck that. I'm here to be an artist, bro. I'm here to be a personality, bro, an energy. And you know what though, I th I feel like, <laughs> but you know what though, that's why y'all really gonna pop. Aside from being good artists and picking good beats and etc. and being affiliated with good people, y'all got good energy, man. Like every that. time y'all come up in the room, it's not my first time meeting y'all. Every time y'all come up in the room, it's always good vibes, smiling, <laughs> shit be. going on. <laughs> shit, shit, is always, shit is always but going on. Ever going come on, on, man. Listen, for sure. Is there man. is there anything else y'all wanna you know what I'm saying chop it up about? I've, I've kind of asked you everything I wanted to. We covered all the topics, yo. Shout out my mom for raising a good son. Shout oh, out. My Miss, mom was just calling me. Shout out she Miss don't know Margaret. where I'm at. <laughs> I know. We're going to make sure you call her right after yeah. <laughs> uh, Go nah. ahead and plug your socials, man. All right, so boom, it's that boy from that place doing them things that got to be done. <laughs> Again, coming at you live. Need to know. You need to know me and the buzzing right here. Lonnie Love. Thanks, Chow. Lie. Yo. Everywhere, Chow Lee on every streaming platform. Oh, this is Lonnie Love on dropping mics. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna lie. It's it's definitely Mr. Fuck Your Wife. <laughs> Yo, I'm Lonnie Love, all socials. Lonnie.love. It's whatever. Love Lee out right now. I lie when I said I love you out right now. Sue me out right now. The city going crazy. It's we a got lot going on locked. right now. A lot going Can't on hit. right now. I want to thank y'all brothers again. Like I said, this family I thank you, shit. bro. Gangsta. Come on, Let's crazy, get, bro. Appreciate you. You know this had to happen, though, right? Yeah. Had to. Everything is about time, and I wanted to do it correctly. You know what I'm saying? So Shit just got done. Shit just yeah, got, got done. Well, <laughs> shit just got done. Really, though. Once again, I'm, I'm seated with my brothers, Chow and Lonnie. Um, Again, 
Thank y'all for listening. This has been another installment of the Need to Know One on One series with your boy A. Um, yeah, we're going to do more of these. And uh, please keep up with my guys right here. Like I said, <laughs> Lovely is one of my favorite projects oh, of this year. Oh, I'm not exaggerating it. Even if you're an old head, just give it a chance. There's a lot of nostalgic samples on there. There's a lot of oh, great man. melodies <laughs> on this on this project. And again, one of my favorite albums from this year. So again, my brothers, thank you, man. Slap, slap, slap. Yes, sir. Need to know podcast. No, Later, y'all. <laughs>